Good afternoon, Lace Jeffman. I'm John. I'm Claire. I forgot to turn the microphone to, 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 to face Claire. And that's Ted right that's behind Ted. us. That's Ted right there. This is many a true note. And welcome to the winner of the snap poll like half an hour ago. Throne fall. What? <clears throat> it was that. Claire, Claire's happy. Because because Remnant 2 is, is shooting things. And then shooting more things. And then, then shooting the things that you I mean, were just this shooting. this shooting things. It's true, but you actually like this game. This is a game you've played yourself. I so like this you, game. you can tactically uh, contribute. But it's also going <clears> to <throat> be much easier to, like, you know, tell you what chat is saying and read super chats and stuff. Yes. In, in a on, game let's, like let's this. Get some music. Get some music. There we go. Bit, bit, bit of throne for music in the background, which hopefully isn't, like, too aggressively loud. It's quite a loud game. So I might turn that a little bit down now. Ted, Ted's with us too. Welcome to Throne for. Okay, let's. Let's address the the. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> yeah, I'm fine. Normally, Not I cut this out of the videos. Normally, yeah. Throat noises. Clay cuts out. Um, Baldur's Gate three. I appreciate a lot of people wanted to see uh, Baldur's Gate three related stuff, but uh, I basically, like I was saying in the video, I want to spend it like one. I don't like doing the same thing day to day, back to back. Really don't enjoy doing the same thing day to day, back to back. I like having variety on the channel. I like kind of spacing things out a little bit. When I've just played a game and just made the video, I like giving it a bit of time to think about it before I play it again. I and mean, like also Baldur's... we were both working on the video and you were particularly working on it quite late last quite night. Quite late last night, yeah. yeah. People... <laughs> I saw a thing recently. People, someone was just, it was just coming up in a discussion about this. So I was like, "Oh, wouldn't it be nice if like the Patreon, Patreon people got like the videos early access?" Like, you think the early access exists? Why do you think videos sometimes come at half past ten or like eleven o'clock? Because we've literally only just got them uploaded because we were working on them into the evening. There, there yeah, is I mean, there is no early access at like half the time. Oh, it's it's same day turnarounds a lot. Blimey. Especially now because uh, unlike the conspiracy says, yeah. We did actually go to France yes. and like have to be ahead of the videos. Yeah, exactly. And now we're, and now we're a bit again. behind on the videos. Like there's very often there are very often that. So it literally was just play. This was just put together yesterday for the thing. And like, I want to have a little bit of time to think about, to muse on it, and uh, like you know maybe play a tiny bit myself. And like maybe we'll take that character forward into like you know the into lives into some live streams. And I think like you know if it really clicks and gels for me uh, like I'm I, I am wondering if Baldur's Gate 3 could like end up in the next democracy week we'll have to we'll have to have a think about that but yes that's that's for the future like uh and also we'll threatening people with a good time <clears throat> there, John. though we'll um we'll have to discuss we'll have to discuss uh yes next week because next week's a bit special so that's that's fine we'll, we'll, we'll get to that oh we'll get to that, yes of yes course. exactly Wh why are you not there? There you go. Now you're there. Excellent. I was wondering where the cocky game had just gone. So yes, let's let's get to throne four for the time being. Just so. Hey, shout out to Sir Roderick Quincy von Thunderbottom, the magnificent hacking of Australia, who, who says, "I see the calendar is quite red." Then it's an. Uh... There's quite a bit of red. There's yes. quite a bit of red. There's there's a little bit of orange. I just like, you know, say like Fallout I just recorded today. And like that always takes a while, which is why the stream's starting at 8, not 7, UK time, I mean. Um, so that, that normally happens a lot. So, um, yes, like uh, Fallout typically I record on Thursday. Uh, but that always requires a lot of planning. So I don't, really, I don't even like start it till late afternoon. So it takes much of those... Oh, Ted's having a nice little sex. Good boy, you know sit on the sofa um so yes like t tomorrow i'll be trying to do saturday's like one-off video sunday like claire will do a first pass in the fallout but i'll edit it properly and like do a proper pass on it on like sunday which will eat most of that day and maybe i'll squeeze some eggs come bit of blood it's, it's all a bit last minute ted what ted did you just do a, a really horrific fart <laughs> he, uh, oh that's really appalling oh ted Oh, Ted, did you have to? Was that strictly... Right. That's why he moved to the sofa. <laughs> that's he, he was like, that smells bad, I'm going to move. Moved, probably, yes. We've got, we've got awful smell here. So, quick reminder on Throne Fall, in case you've forgotten or you didn't catch the video or whatnot. It's a very cute, like, simple, like, bit city builder, bit tower defense, bit RTS, bit, like, strategy game. It's a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. So, what we're going to do is this level is the level where I've actually, uh, I've played it, uh, I've played it before. And I beat this level in the video. But 
I have only got three out of the six achievements. And what I really want to see is if you get more, does like does this area fill out with more houses? I mean, it seems if so, like it based on yeah. the first and the third areas. That looks like that would be adorable if that's the case. I really want to fill up more. So I've only got three out of the six achievements. Because to get the good achievements, you've got to complete the level under certain circumstances. Yeah. Circumstances. So, like, yeah. Complete it without the bow. So you need to use a different weapon, either light spear, so yeah, I can um, activate my ability to heal myself a little bit, or the heavy sword, slow melee attack, splash damage, uh, good against groups, and yeah, big strike with a larger radius. I kind of feel like I'm gonna, I am gonna. want to go for the heavy sword here. kind of want the heavy sword. That seems kind of fun, because there is a lot of big groups during this section. And then I also want to, if I achieve it with, hang on. Yeah, the, the toughest one, the snake over here, which is, yeah, drop less gold. But the, the, the ultimate a achievement is uh, if I do it with both Turtle, the enemies have got more health, and uh, Claw. So, sorry, this is Turtle and, and Tiger, even. So the enemies also deal way more damage. But it means you bo you get a bonus score of, uh, yes, like, uh, plus 44%. Now, this level doesn't actually have a, a real high score chase, which the, the desert d does. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to give myself, yeah, the heavy sword, so I'm good at dealing with uh, the crowds. And I'm going to give myself, I've got all sorts of exciting sexy stuff here. Yeah, pumpkin fields. So better quality Ooh, fields. Wait. So they're more expensive to set up. But they've, they've, got more, they've got more health, they've got more income, but they're more expensive to set up in the first place. I like, mean, there's quite a few fields on that map, on that first map. Mm. So... Alternatively, yeah, Architects Counts is really interesting. So uh, you are one tech level ahead. Like, you can build stuff as if you were Castle 2, even if you are Castle 1. But, like, after a certain point in the game, mm. that becomes irrelevant. It's an early game benefit only. You can grant, yeah, you can resurrect yourself really fast once per night. Castle Fortifications, yeah, Castle Center, way more health. Heavy armor, you've got large amounts of health for yourself, but your horse is slow. Which I think is bad, because then the archers can just pick you off really easily. Or your castle centre produces gold and that income increases every time you upgrade it. I feel like I want to just double down the towers, like arcane towers and castle fortifications. Uh, this is a, this sorry, is a, so Dex in chat says, yeah. uh, pro tip from a pro, pick pumpkins and super towers as perks. I mean, I'm, I'm tempted to go for pumpkins. You know what, I think I'll go for, yeah, I'll go for towers and pumpkins. We'll, we'll see how that works out. Yeah, go for pumpkins in, in honour of our massive pumpkin patch. We do have a big pumpkin patch ourselves. But the, the, our, our first pumpkin just fell off. Yeah. It's, it got sad and fell off, which is hilarious. So yeah, I'll go for, I'll go for towers and pumpkins. We'll go in. And it's Let me know if this is way, if it, it's way too loud when we get to the night, by the way. I'll turn down a bit more. I've turned down a little bit, but like we could do it for a little bit more. So okay, first time we've only got, yeah, three, com uh, three coming in. So at the tower, I've got five. And really, like, for first night on this map, I just want to go for, yeah, like, I, I can just melee those guys. Like, it should be all economy. And I feel like, I mean, logically, we just went for, yeah, this side's not so bad. Like, it, it, the, the enemies are the same. So we know what the enemies are going to be doing. And we know that on this side, it's going to be relatively light. So, you know what, I'll go for... I'm going to go for what I presume is, yeah, mill. And it's going to be, yeah, we do actually have scarecrows, which is interesting. Scarecrows have stronger anti-air. But I think I'd rather go for, yeah, the improved plow. Yeah, plus one per upgrade. And now it's, wow, it's three for a field. Okay, those those better be, those better generate a cocktail of money in that case. Wow. Okay, in which case... Doesn't it say that? Huh? Well, I mean, yeah, but in I was expecting corner? two, not three. It mm. generates two. So, I mean, yeah, but guess, every turn. Yeah, I guess it pays for itself pretty quickly. So, yeah, we've just got the guards coming in. My passive is... Hang on. My passive is, yeah, it's a slow melee attack, but deals splash, uh, splash damage. Good against groups. My active is a big strike with a large radius, dealing more damage. So, yeah, just basically put myself forward into night. So I can just deal with these guys myself. And, but, and big attack. And I've got slightly, slightly more range than that. Oh, this is... Okay, you, you group them together. No, no, I need you to all group together. You to all group together, please. Group together. Group together. Group together. Boop. And... Uh, there we go. That's a big attack. No, no. Not you. Everyone follow me. Everyone follow me. I want everyone on me. I've got just slightly more range than that. This is very slow. 
This is very... I should have maybe invested in some... There we go. There's a bit of bonus gold there, minimum. So, okay, this is fine. This is go for the top guy. Go. Uh, there is... Oh, yeah, there is splash in it, too. So, okay. With with turtle on as well. That's... Okay, we definitely need some defences tomorrow. We need we need proper defences tomorrow, potentially. Like, yeah, just one town support. Because we've got eight of those guys coming in next turn. So, I feel Did like... Did you just do all economy on day one? Yeah, just all economy day one. That, that's what I normally go for too, but yeah, sorry, the chat is very uh, lively today, which is lovely. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to do four things at the same time. I feel like, well, as they're coming in any, they're coming in from this direction. There's probably going to be someone coming in from this direction. This tower's probably more important. I'm going to get that down, and I'm going to, I want to get down, I could get down two houses, hang on. One field is two. Two houses would be also two. So let's get that field up. Because the field's going to pay for itself pretty quick. So that's a good field right now. That only needs to be with one coin. So we can't do anything with that. But that's fine. But then what we need to do is just basically, yeah, let them come in a little bit. Just let them, let them all come in. Try and draw their attention. And try and draw them back to me and draw them into a big circle. Big boom there. That's you dead. And then just try and get them off. Yeah, try and get them off the tower. And to me. And then to me. Like, and that's a big attack, and that draws. Oh yeah, that draws so much tension. Draws so much tension. No, 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 none of that. Draw attention. Well, the tower's gone. That's fine. And, and now the castle's gonna do its job. It's fine. We're just, you know, we've invested pretty heavily in economy. This is going to be all AO. Oh, blimey, blimey. Okay, that, 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 that. Yeah. No. Okay. That, that, that basic wooden castle doesn't have much health. Okay, the lion's, the lion's claws, not, not kidding. The lion, the lion's claw upgrade. That's, that's, that's okay. We might need to build some walls Ooh. sooner rather than later. This is fine. Okay, this is harder than I thought it was going to be immediately. Uh, okay, those are the, they just hunt you down balls, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's the hunt you down balls. So that's fine. They're coming in Don't from that. Don't they go for your castle though? No, I think that's the... I can never remember the symbol for the lighter ones that hunt down you versus the heavy ones that hunt down the castle. Mm. I think the first time you see on this map the ones that go for you, they're coming from the... They go for the castle, they're coming from the bottom, I think. So, okay, the tower went down pretty fast, I won't deny. So I feel like potentially we should get... Yeah, we should get... We should get the investment into... Well, we, we literally can't build troops until I've invested in castle. So let's get that in play. Then we've got, yeah, Builder's Guild for the economic. Assassin's Training. Oh, that's new. Yeah, that's 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 new for me. If you execute your weapon special ability precisely when the last Ooh. cooldown expires, uh, next cooldown's greatly reduced. Plus 100% attack, but no bonus health. I think I'd rather take the Builder's Guild. I mean, it's just... its a... I mean, I don't know about you, but I'll never get the Assassin thing very precise. No, so I don't think so either. It, yeah. And I, I can't afford... I can't afford troops or... I, I could build another tower, which honestly might not be a terrible idea just to draw. Because I'm a bit worried that this this, this mill is going to go down to those eight at this Oof, point. Eight? Yeah, eight from that direction. And these two guys up here... Like, and I cannot afford a, a wall. I feel like I might be better off just going for a, uh, going for a Warner House at the back and not a second field. Because I feel like I can't hold that field. I could go, I could try and pull them into that tower. I mean, yeah, it's on the way to your castle. So that's not bad to have some yeah. backup. Yeah. Yeah. Also, a couple of people were saying it's a bit loud during the night. A bit loud during the night. I kind of figured it might be. Let's yeah. turn that down a tiny bit more. Just a little bit more. There we go. That should be fine. That should be a little bit quieter. So, okay. In which case, as those guys are a bit slow, I will... But then again, they're going to spawn in faster. Let's yeah, just go um... to night and let them come in. Let them all come in. Hey, hey. There we go. Just take out some big hits. Okay, they're actually going northwards right now which they is are coming for you. yeah but these guys oh those guys hit really hard they they hit really oh okay those hit they they were hunting me they're hunting but they're, they're gonna be drawn and then oh. one of them's still alive one of them one of them is still alive okay i think we might have we might have potentially just lost okay just go 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 draw all their attention boom and that's gonna draw a lot of attention away 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 this is fine 
We're all good. We're all gonna survive. 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 All gonna survive. Boom! That's gonna draw a lot of attention. We've just we've not we're not dead. We're not dead. And all the economic buildings survived. Every <laughs> This is tougher than I thought it was going to be. Okay, now archers from every direction. Knights can deal with that. And nine coins. Nine can deal with that. Like, yeah, but that's it's not that. even that much. This is yeah, that's the that's the basic barracks. It's okay, we need knights. We need knights right now. That's fine. Uh everything's going to be a okay. Because I can put like two knights, two knights, then me, I think. Like we'll just get you guys. And we'll kind of put one of you over like, you know, over here-ish. They can just go over there. They'll go to where they're told. Uh, and then these two guys, these two knights can be down over here. Then and I'll yeah, hold do, the middle. The buildings all reset their health uh, on um, yeah. day by day, right? Yeah, you only, you only lose the income if they're completely destroyed. Right, but I mean, if your castle got hit yesterday, yeah. tonight it's at 100% again. I've got uh, Spanners asking in chat, hey Spanners! Yeah, the castle, everything resets up to 100 and if it's destroyed you don't get the income, but if it's not a... But it rebuilds itself. It rebuilds you know, itself, it's yeah. Just with the one now I do have five, get. so I could actually go for a, a thing, but I would rather invest in I, I you know i can get a field and a house down and i'm nice. gonna i'm gonna risk it because that house is gonna upgrade itself because i've got the yeah yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. That, that upgrade so really i should definitely have at least one house so i feel like you guys can deal with these guys in fact you know what you guys you're just gonna go camp up here congrats you're gonna go camp there okay just just get them as they come in get them as they come in because knights can absolutely annihilate archers all right they they can do they just won't be able to do anything and then i'll just stay at the back over here let the tower do some of the work and i'll keep an eye on what's needed this is going to be fine and just charge them i'm just going to i'm just going to hit these guys as they come in yeah you, you yeah you better not show up you can't oh blimey there we go ah, there we go one goes down Ooh, they hit pretty hard though they hit pretty hard okay this is fine everything's fine go go Go, go, dead. Just back away a little bit. I can, ju even when I'm not at full health, you can only sprint when you're full health. You guys are all oh, blimey. Okay, they're doing a little bit. More knight dead up there. Yeah, there's definitely, but th th they'll just, they'll, more knights will be trained. More knights will be trained. The center's going fine. Go, go, go. Right, and go to here. Boom, big hit. Okay, you know what? There's, there's more knights coming in. You are over to here. And focus on this guy. They can't really do much to me. They don't hit very hard. I can just kind of I can tank them. I say this. But do you have do you have healing or I've got zero healing. I'm heavy sword, not spear. Oh. There we go. What's your passive then? Uh my my passive is just I hit people with my sword when I'm standing nearby to them. And you're active? Uh big strike with larger radius. Oh I see. Big damage. So I just need to run in and kind of smash them. So all smash then. Basically, it's all smash. But like when the big, Ooh. when the, you see, the, you see that's 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 the, here's the yeah. ones where they just rush you. Yeah. That's that's the I, those are the I'm rushing your capital. So mm. when those guys show up, it's wall time. Yeah. Absolutely zero question. That is when you, if you don't have a wall set up, you are boned at that point. Now there is an archer range, isn't? Yeah, there's an archer range here. So the that's archer range will help. Cool. Definitely an archer range is going down, and I like longbow archers. So these guys well, are just, yeah. just being held right there. Hold position. What do you think? Maybe the other tower? The thing is, I know mysteriously the economy the economy is actually safe on this occasion. Because these guys are just castle. They just castle. I could also double the number of archers in theory. Uh, but I feel well, like... Well, no, but I meant the other... There's another tower on the other side of your castle gate there is but i feel like with the archers being able to concentrate their fire and with the knights the knights will waddle outside slowly step by step sure. in fact if anything i'm going to take one i'm just going to take one i'm going to move him further away so it's, he's staggered a bit because they're so slow they'll kind of stagger outside bit by bit and that'll actually work out a bare minimum i want one more tower down uh so one more yeah, house, 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 uh, house i definitely want the house down i i could upgrade the mill to go from a one to a three. In fact, you know what? That's actually an increase of two coins per day for only four. I'm taking it. I'm, I'm going all in economy after getting the archers down. Archers and wall down. But other than that, it's all economy. And I don't think you can do anything to draw these guys away from you. So I'm just going to be over here. And that's, that's just going to be it. So 
There's, if someone just asked if this game's controller friendly, I'm using a controller right now. I am using a controller. There's, you know what? They're not going for me. So I can actually wear these guys down, wear these guys down a little bit. Just get over to here. Boom. Get over to here. This, this is going well. The knights are keeping them busy. And yeah, they're sort of just nearby. The, the gates are holding together. Big hit. This is a little bit, little bit concerning. Just wait for the knights to charge forward. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we need, we need a lot more. Okay, when those guys showed up, we needed a lot more defense than that. Like maybe a tower on the other side of your gate. It might have been a good idea, in theory, to have had a tower on the other side of the gate. Just, just in theory. In fact, you know what? I, I'm not feeling. I'm not sure I'm feeling this. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna reconsider. I'm going to reconsider my options here for yeah, the, for the not, setup. I'm not super keen on the idea of your active and your passive basically kind of doing the same thing. Like, obviously, I'm going to use it because I like smashing. Yeah. But, you know. Okay, we're going we're gonna to look at this here. And, uh, okay, the tough one is, in fact, you are allowed to have the bow. I'm just going for achievement F here with double difficulty. So, I'm going back to bow because then I've got the... Uh, yeah, longbow is, yeah, it's the passive, or you've got the, the melee for massive damage. And also, the lower the health of your victim, the lower the cooldown of the ability. I did not know that. Uh, that, that I completely did not know. I kind of feel like the mushrooms, sorry, the pumpkins were a ton of bit too expensive. Especially, I, I, I would like my castle to have more health. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, oh, activate maximum tankiness. Uh, activate maximum tank for the castle, because the castle went down too easy then. This is absolutely fine. So, okay, everything is... Everything's fine. John, the long woman do... They definitely do some damage. I've seen them do some damage. They definitely do some damage. Don't be me. Uh, okay. And this means, yeah, we're, now we're not doing pumpkins. We can, yeah, you know what, screw Ooh, what's it. what's the scarecrow? Uh, and yeah. Oh, cool. Right. Double field, straight away, off plow. And now, yeah, we'll just go for that. So it's all economy, all into fields on day one. That's fine. And that is much, much safer. And there we go. Take you out. Take you out. Just draw your attention. I mean, I think this is this is very useful for just getting attention and pulling it towards where you want to go. Then just stab you. And oh, yeah, the cooldown is really noticeably way shorter, isn't it? Okay, you know what? I quite like that dagger. I, I did not realize that was how that worked. I think I just got a bit lucky with the gold that was dropped there, too. Yeah. That felt like that was quite a lot of gold that was just dropped. So, okay, we definitely would like... You know what? Given it makes no difference one way or the other. But then again, this tower here it's draws... It draws these guys up this way, which is good. So, I would like this tower here. But beyond that, I would like houses. Give me houses. And give me houses. And then one gold can't do anything. So, okay, it's just the eight from this side. So, okay, just get over to here. And just start taking them out. Bang. Just take a little bit of damage on you. We'll just finish you off. That's absolutely fine. And more gold there, which is good. Just draw as much attention as we can. Just draw way, way... Just, just basically get everyone we can over in this direction. Boom. Well, don't let Boom. them... Yeah, don't let them stay too far back. Because you need to have the arrows from there. And then just draw attention to you. And the tower's now living way, way, way longer. Just because, yeah, if you just rotate round them, you can get, a, you can just pull their attention off them. Pretty nicely. Look at that. That tower survived. Okay, you know what? The bow's really good. Just because if you just circle around a group of enemies who are really hacky, it's something you can really pull them away. That, and now that the was, economy's working a lot better. That was way smoother. Well, also, because I feel, yeah, maybe th those pumpkin fields would have paid off in the medium yeah, term. Of but we didn't quite get into the stage where they were quite working yet. And that means I actually do have the money on this occasion to go into troops straight away if I want to. Because we can't, I don't want to, until I've upgraded town, I can't, I can't upgrade mill. So I will take, yeah, builder's guild. God. Builder's Guild is so good. So, so good. But now I could get some basic troops out here, which is pretty good. And I feel like the first round has got to be knights, because the first big challenge is the 24 archers. And the knights do a lot to slow that down. Like, I just feel like they've got to be your start, mm -hmm. in a way. So I've, I, I, I'm going to get the knights out now, uh, straight away. And we're just going to... I mean, the problem is that the, the knights are going to completely... 
are going to completely... They're not going to do anything against the um, the bastards over here. So I'm just going to put the knights down over here. And then, yeah, that should do pretty solidly. These guys are just going to hunt me. Those are the you hunters. But while I'm at full health, they can't do it. They can't get... So the wasps are the you hunters. Yeah, they yeah. can't get to me. And now, yeah, with the... Look at the improved castles doing a huge amount of good work there. Yeah. And now these guys go down way, way, way easier. And with the castle as well. And my knights are just... Even if they're not the most effective troops, they're just so they good. Just hold. They hold really well. Because... In the end, you're still doing a lot of damage, but they're kind of throttling yeah. so that you can... Yeah, they're just yeah. really good they're really good speed bumps. Take you out. Take and your you castle out. is doing a lot of good work. Your castle I think the castle's... The has it got right extra there. range? Is that one of the things it gets? I think so. I think it's an extra range. Hang on, we can check that. A uh, lot more health. Fires arrows great faster attack. and a great attack range. And I think it's contributing... A I think that's... A Did really you see down one. there? It saved your field. There was a there was a guy going to attack one of your fields. Oh, I didn't even see him. Yeah, the castle just uh, yeah. three-shotted it. Nice. So, okay, you're going to here. Oh, and crossbowmen are armoured like... Crossbowmen are armoured like knights. Sorry. I've tried using crossbowmen. I just... Uh, the range of them is so low, I can't be dealing with it, unfortunately. It just doesn't work for me. So, okay. The mill is from 1 to 3 for a single upgrade. I feel like the economy is pretty safe tonight. So I'm happy to, yeah, kind of put a lot into field and field and field. And, yeah, more field. Like, all just max out the fields on this occasion. And then I think it's time for maybe... Who, who, plowed, who plowed that one field that's not the same direction as the other field? That's tusk, true. Tusk, tusk. That's true, actually. I hadn't noticed that. Um, okay. I feel like Caleb would have a conviction. We put one more over here. Or oh, should we put it down over here? Like, this would draw attention away. This will protect the farm and draw attention away from it. I'm going to put. I'm gonna go for this one mm, here. Your castle can reach, though. Yeah, it can, but we know sooner or later the flyers are coming this from this direction. So, like, double flyer is fine. So, I'm just going to just help out with these guys as best we can. Just while, because they don't, the ones in the middle don't come straight away. So, we can just like, literally push you up and bounce. Excellent. Right, this will, this will, that'll help out my knights a lot. Okay, now we can go up to here. And now we can just draw a lot of attention away, which is fine. They're hitting, you know, pretty hard, but not too hard. My knights, number one, are going down. Finish off you. Gosh darn it, you already died. Uh, right, go to you. Now we just move over to here. And just take out you. Take out you. Take out you. And now the knights are regenerating. That's the nice thing. The nice thing right there. The knights are already coming back. You can deal with that, which is lovely. You. Finish you off. Finish you off. Yeah, we're fine. This, I, the, if anything, we probably could have we probably could have gone more economy tonight. Because it's tomorrow night, the night that just that, that killed me previously. I think it might be. I think it might be, yeah. And yeah, here it is. They're coming in. 15 bastards are coming in. 15 bastards. I hate them. Right, okay. Obviously wall. Absolutely. I mean, we've already got one more tower than we had previously. We've got... The economy's so much better. Like, I don't know. The, the, the pumpkins did not work for me. The pumpkins did not work. I do want the archers. I want the archers. I'm having them. You guys are just chilling out right here. Do your thing. You guys can just pootle out on your, at your own pace. We could go for upgraded tower. Still got 11. Uh, I definitely need to get at least one house down today. Because otherwise we're wasting the builder upgrade. So at least one house needs to go down today. I could also actually double the number of archers. I could put 8 into that. That's possible. Until we've upgraded the main building, we can't get mill and a penny further. There's another mill over there. But the, these mills are way more vulnerable. Like, I don't think we can hold these mills. Oh, <laughs> no. Not a chance. Like, th this is the mill you hold. This is your economic mill. The other two are just pretty Explody vulnerable. Mills. Yeah, they could be exploding mills potentially down the line. That could potentially be useful. Do I want... <sighs> One more tower... Ooh, yeah, you know what? More than one more tower. One more tower there. And hang on, you you're not your mill. Your mill. We've already got and you would not be in range anyway. Though now we've actually got improved um we've got a better castle on this occasion. So that's fine. Then we can't put that into you. And you know what? 
you buddy, you're being you're going you're going to be a next level castle. I've got one stone, okay? And then the, the moment they start coming in, I'm going to start weakening them because I can with the bow. There we go. Lovely. Just just follow this one, follow this one. Bang. Doing something a little bit. There we go. There we go. That's that's doing a lot more damage, a lot more damage, a lot more damage. A lot more damage here, a lot more damage. Though I don't have the splash attack anymore, which is a bit of a problem. I'm just getting over there. Start wearing them down. The tower is doing a lot more work. There are a lot more towers, of course. I just be a bit careful not to get caught up in the melee drama here. But I think on this occasion, they're not getting through the gates. Finish you. Finish you. There we go. Nice. Yeah, that was that was better. And the economy is looking way, 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 way stronger. And yes, there is a south tower of here, but that one would have been out of range. So, okay. Now we've got a big wave coming in. 20 soldiers, 20 archers. And this Anything is where... Anything top? Huh? No. It would, it would, it would show oh, on yes, the edge of the screen. Course. It would hover on the edge of the screen. So, I think... Obviously, we need to, yeah, reinforce a little bit. I don't have the money to go up to tier 3. But I do have the money to obviously upgrade my towers a fair whack. Which would be useful. I'm do you have a level 1 house? Uh, Not yet. You can be a level 1 house, buddy. That's fine. The trick is going to be how, if in any way, can I protect this mill? Because I think this mill might just go down tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to see how uh, the mill so survives. So remember, there's a, I think there's a tower in that clump of trees at the front. Here. That's true. There's the one that you will, forgot during the video. I it think. will draw some attention, bare minimum. It'll keep them busy for now. But I'd rather have my good towers be at the back. And I'm willing to put a little bit into towers tonight. Yeah, fair enough. And I think the rest I'm willing to put into a little bit of housing. Yeah, you. You. And I'd rather have my knights at, like... They can just start here, and then they'll just start pootling out, and they'll just be... They'll probably engage the enemy somewhere around here-ish, and then that's in range of the stone towers. My archers, however... Is there another house at the back there behind the uh, archery ring? I think so. Yes, there's oh. one here as well. I like these These ones are out in the forest. They're nicer. These are so cute. Yeah, they're cute houses. They're a bit more out the way. And the knights can go forward. You... Hang on. I definitely set you to hold still, right? Yeah, you guys just hold. Do not, Do not go anywhere. So, okay. We've got the light towers at the front, the heavier towers at the back, and I'm going to try and pull them to the north, away from the mill, if at all possible. Whether I can realistically hold the mill, I don't know. I've killed one. One out of 40. No, you don't. If anything, this tower might actually be a problem, because this tower's kind of it's drawing the attention over in this direction, which is kind of bad. But the stone towers are in range at this point, so bare minimum, that's good. The archer's now coming in as well. Yeah, we cannot defend the farm. There's no chance to defend the farm, and I'm taking a lot of damage too. Yeah, the, field, the field's just going to be lost tonight. The field's just going to be lost. That's unfortunate. What can you do? Just stay away from them. The knights are slowly moseying out. The archers are doing what they can. Take you out. We're going to have that ability off cool down. I think the soldiers are dead. Now it's just the archers, and that means the knights are going to be really effective. So I'm kind of okay with that. So actually, you know what? Half the... I'm amazed half the, the, the farm is still around. I like... I've no idea how half the farm is still around. Because it's in range of your towers and your castle. I mean, no, no, no. Don't let them do it. Don't let them do it. Blimey. Well done. Like, okay, fine. Some of them didn't pay their taxes tonight. What a bunch of bastards. But I'll flip and take it. And it's flyer night. And Fly Knight is really not so bad. I mean, I could go all 20 into Castle. The thing is, I assume Castle unlocks more build options and your character becomes stronger. Yeah, because you get an upgrade perk. But does its, like, towers become stronger? Because if so, against just basic these guys... Well, the towers don't become stronger, but you unlock the No, I mean, but the does, final... does the castle's towers, the built-in mm, towers of the castle know. become stronger? That I don't know. That's interesting. Um, I mean, the castle... Does the castle get a thousand more health? Yeah, it gets a thousand more health, which is good. I feel like that feels worth it for that for on Flyer Night. But... I think I'm just going to put the little tower here, because flies are not that strong. We've already got a stone tower right here. I'm going to put eight into more archers. We're just going to have all the archers. The archers are just going to be... They're just going to be here, and they're just going to do their thing. 
the archers are just going to hold their position and just have some fun. Uh, I think that's plenty of coverage. So as a result of that, I feel pretty good at that point going economy. So I have some houses around here. We'll have some more. Maybe we'll use the houses inside the city first. I think that might be the last in-city house. It, yeah. yeah, I think that's it. So you there as well. So that's plenty of level 1 houses down. I've got a bow myself. And the bow, the king's bow is pretty damn good against these things. So I think that should be fine for Fly Knight. Like, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that will flip and do. The archers are doing beautiful work. They're being, they're starting to come a little bit fast. So the archers are going to start going down. But there's only 15 of them. And the tower, yeah, the king's tower is just, no, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, gosh, I'm going to lose maybe, yeah, two, t two fields. That's it. I'll take that. Like, for the number of houses we just got down as well. Wow, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now, now stuff gets difficult. That's ten hunting me, ten hunting the castle. You need to upgrade it. The castle. You need to upgrade the castle. If I do that, I can probably afford to upgrade the walls to stone. Well, you won't have the possibility of making the wall Oh, that there's also 30 comes... here. Yeah. But then I... They're, yeah, they're the basic infantry. Ooh. Do I really want to do that, or would I no, rather... If you, John, if you don't do the castle, yeah. it, the castle's going to die against 10 of those big lads. Ten, it survived against 15 of those big lads before. That was 15 down south. This is only 10. Hmm. Like, it's actually less. Uh, ooh, sorry, Alana says uh, the game volume is still a bit loud, by the Tiny way. Tiny bit too loud. All right, that's uh, fine. So that's I'm fine. supposed to be poking you about that. All right, another five decibels down. We're another yeah. five decibels down. The thing is, if I spend 20 on this, I have got almost nothing to spend on anything else. But I'm going to do it. I think it hopefully will upgrade the castle. Uh, like, so, okay, I've got Royal Mastery, so that's, yeah, Mar that's me. Or, Commander, units move faster when I'm commanding them, a healing aura, overall 30% damage per character. I think that one's not worth it. I go for Royal Mastery on level on the final level. So I'm doing a lot more damage. I can, oh, I can't afford stone. That's 12. Okay. Well, that's fine. The, ta the, ta the castle itself is at least well guarded. And I'm going to say, therefore... Tower. And tower. Because the towers are more powerful than usual towers. What I'm also going to say is my knights are going to come down here. And they're just going to hold these guys in place. And they're going to keep them busy. They're not going to win. But they're going to keep them busy for now. And my archers are all coming over here. Come on, archers. You're all going to come over here. And you're just going to stand right there. And you're going to do what you can I mean, oh, actually, should I have... I probably should have spent three on just this wall. <sighs> oh, I probably should have, actually. Because I could have put up a... I wouldn't have been able to complete the wall in. But I would have been able to do something. Okay, we'll see if I regret that in a moment. Because I suspect I might be about to regret not building that wall. So, okay. Get you two here. The towers are doing good work straight away. Like, yeah, literally, it's only ten. It's only ten. They're going for these... They're going for the top gate over here. But it's going down pretty fast. And if we can just break the first... If we can just break the tan, then that's the... Ca oh, blimey. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. My knights are down. My knights are down. I think you guys are all in trouble. That's you dead. That's you dead. The me hunters are on the move. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Take care. Okay, now it's just basic troops. And they're going to really struggle to get through. No, my houses... No, the civic infantry. My entire farm. Okay, that's fine. The entire farm's down on this occasion. Take you out. Bang, dead. That's going to come back in no time whatsoever. Bang, dead. Going to come back in no time whatsoever. This tower is going to hold. I'm shocked one house made it. That's true, actually. I'm amazed you're still there. Okay, we lost a lot of money there, but it's fine. Ah, barbarians and fly lots of flyers coming in from the south. In fact, lots of flyers coming in from... Are those flyers? Those are flyers. No, they have to be flyers because they're coming in from the left. And nothing mm. can come in from the left but the flyers. So, okay. I'm not so worried by flyers. Uh, meaning we don't need to really prioritise getting the 
walls down in a hurry because there's nothing to guard against apart from barbarians who eventually have to make it through the gates, which they're going to really struggle to do. But I am tempted to immediately go for reinforced to stone. If you reinforce the stone, you should have enough money to make a bunch of the smaller walls around because those are threes. Those are only threes, yeah. Yeah. I could do I could do I mean, both, couldn't I? It feels like you should do both because you're like protecting the infrastructure and the economy. It's not much economy in there, to be honest. It's two houses. Mm. Like, I feel like in many ways, I wouldn't mind. Okay, you know what? I am going to go for this. So that's stone now. That's significantly tougher. So that's, that's a good solid back line of defense. I have... 11 left, it's 16 for more archers. This side feels pretty well defended, and there's only 5 coming from up there. There's 5-5, five, five, and there's 10. I think I... You I'd... maybe do a, at least the wall at the front. What, just to basically, like, get in the way of yeah. these? Just to slow them down a little bit. You know what? Not a terrible idea. So that's that's there. That could also be... St that could just be a weird stone thing just chilling out by itself. Uh, but I feel like actually what I'd rather have would be we've got stone tower there. We've got stone tower here. We've got I wouldn't mind a stone tower here. I think that's that's not. But then again, then it will be in range of the barbarians potentially. Sorry, I've got the cursor on screen. My apologies. Uh, yeah, I'm going to make you stone. And I've got three, which I'm going to put into a house. I'm going to put that into a house. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say, archers, some of you are just going to chill out right here by the mill, doing your own thing. And we're going to have some more archers who are going to be chilling out over here, doing their own thing. And the knights are just going to mosey where they feel like moseying. I'm going to, I'm going to pull two of you forward. Basically, I'm just going to pop you here. And they're just going to basically keep the barbarians a bit busy while the towers do some work. I'm not sure what order everything's going to spawn in. We should just keep an eye for whatever spawns first. And I'll take you out. Dead. Dead. I think they're just going to come all in one little kind of go, but that's fine. If we just take out, if we can just clear out the left, that's a okay. These knights were never supposed to win, they were just supposed to slow everything down. Bang. So there we go, that's you going down. Okay, the left seems well under control. Well under control here. Well under control. Take you out. Take you out. And guys, time to fall back. Time to fall back. Hold position. Thank you. They've, they've done the best they can. They've done the best they can. The farm goes down, but that's fine. Some nights the farm's just going to go down. Bang! Right, that's you dead. Bang! That's you almost dead as well. Bang! That's you. Oh, you didn't quite die. That's you dead this occasion. They're not even getting close to falling through, getting through the walls right now. So the houses in the uh, that are overwhelmingly in the centre are still fine. We've taken some knocks there, but we're still going to make a good solid amount of money. We've still got almost 30. Mm. I'm okay with that. And on this occasion, okay, nothing's coming from the left now. And everything is coming from right. It's all infantry and one berserker coming in now. So, but yeah, the trick that almost cost me the game when I was playing this first time was uh, this entrance is never protected. Even if you build out the second layer, it only protects you against these guys. It offers no protection against these guys coming from over here because they can just go in this way. Yeah. They'll just go for this gate, which is a problem. So we've got to build on that. So this is a lot of just trash mobs coming in. But crucially, there's no range Meaning, what we're going to do is we're going to do oil pots. Enemies are going to crowd around this thing. And they're going to get hit by the oil. That's what's going to happen. Boom. And everything else, I think, is going to be... Yeah, we're going to finish up this wall. Just basic for now. Okay, I'm going to wrap that up. We're going to give ourselves... Do we even need spearmen? I in this feel universe. like the uh, I feel like the chat would like you to go for spearmen and or crossbowmen. I want flails. Ooh, I've flails. never tried flails, but they're good flails. at dealing with crowds, and that's precisely what's coming in. Like that's a hundred percent what's coming in, and I think they're going to be good at it. So we're just going to get all my archers, all my archers. They're all going to come over here, and my archers can basically just hold 
right here in the center. And they can just deal with this. And if need be, I will pull them back behind that. And my knights can just basically... They can just be in the center and hang around. Then again, you know what? I almost want my knights to to stay away from the the pots. I'd like my knights to... You know what? I'm going to put my knights over here. I'm going to try and have my knights protect my fields by just keeping these guys away from them. For once, I want my farm to not die. Well, there's only like... Is that what one berserker or seven at the bottom there? It's one. It's one in each crowd. So it's yeah. really not that bad, all things considered. And then I can't afford to upgrade you. I could afford to put down... Maybe actually, there, are there no more house slots? Are we out of house slots now? Well, what are all those slots at the bottom? Are those like just exploding gibbles? Those are mills. All three? Those are uh, mill, mill, and ah. archery range. But that one's a really weird archery range. Because obviously it can't... It very quickly, it can't reinforce. But you know what? People were saying they want crossbows. People were saying they want crossbows. Let's give some crossbows what? a go. Let's let's give them a few. Let's give a few crossbows a go, guys. You're with me and Jeff yeah, because Wait. you're very short range. You're going to be chilling out right here. Yeah. Well, I just thought maybe the crossbow. I wasn't sure if the crossbow would be inside or out. Oh no! They they definitely want to be. They don't want to be it if they're a ranged troop. Hmm. I mean, I guess they could, like, hang out right by the tower, but then they're drawing attention. Like, I'm, I'm more curious what this tower's going to do. So it's going to come back down over here. Everything's going to be fine. Just take you out. Bang. Number one dead. Get my dagger back, like, immediately. The knight starts slowly moving in over here. Yeah, this archer range just... It's, you, you, you've got whatever it starts off with, but it, it collapses, like, almost immediately. Then we've got the flails coming in. There we go. The flail's doing an excellent job. When they start getting crowded, they can start dealing with that. But look at this, the tower. That is so funny. They're just gonna crowd the tower and it's just gonna it's just gonna pour oil on them. And this is gonna like single-handedly wipe out most of this. Like just the oil tower there. Hilarious. Hilarious. look at that. It that that, that, that army has been almost pretty much defeated by that alone. Okay, guys, and now I need the archers to be defending. So, yeah, no, nothing comes too much in this direction. So, I feel like these guys are under control. Take you. Take you. Wait, there's a, there's a big guy. I know, I know. But he won't be too dangerous, to be honest. And the tower goes down, but now they're trying to get over to here. Now, the big guy was able to knock down the front door. Due credit to him there. There's also some guys trying to get up here. But I feel like we're under control there. Though, actually, you know what? Just in case. I'm just going just gonna to go and reinforce over in that direction. Take you out. Bang. Nice. Uh, did we even lose any economy? I don't think I think so. we lost zero economy that night. So, oh, yeah, nice. There we go. There's no more castle upgrade, is there? That's, that's now maxed out, mm. I think. So that's now maxed out. Yeah. Sci-Fi Storm says, with the crossbows short range, you can't really have them on hold position. Let them walk into range. They have enough armor to live in melee for a bit. Okay, interesting. I suppose, then, if you know that's what's going on yeah. with, with them, yeah. you want to make them in a different range that's not so exposed as that one yeah maybe but then again you can just move them to wherever you want them to start yeah but i mean so i will just happen then again on this occasion tonight what's coming in is dumb heavy balls who want to knock down the gate and take the shortest available route to get to the castle so on this occasion i think actually having them right outside the gates they can basically just try and shoot down these guys is the right thing to do as is putting up stone. Well, we've got a lot of money, and what else are we going to do with it? Yeah, and the, yeah, the nice thing about this front is you can actually have a full four towers on the front if you want to. Mm. Now, the archers are going to be a little bit problematic. Um, grab all the archers. Grab all archers. Obviously, they're just going to go to the front too, because, yeah, what they've got there is it's just 30, uh, 50 archers and 30 of these guys. You guys just hold here. Do the best you can. So obviously oil pots aren't going to be anywhere near as effective against archers. But I am willing to... You know what? I think I'm just willing to... If there's zero economy, which there's very little economy left at this point. As no one's going to be coming... You know what I'm going to do? This is going to be an explosive trap. This is an explosive trap. But I'm also going to invest in the fields. Because nothing's coming in there right now. And in which case, I can probably get a lot of money out of these. Like, any night when nothing comes this way, I can get a lot of money out of these. All right. And then the same is going to be true over on this side. Nothing's going to be coming this way tonight. 
That gets me even more money at this point. And then I want to just go, yeah, tower and tower. And that's going to be a stone tower. And this is just going to be a normal tower. And that's going to be fine. It's all going to work out. And I'm just going to stand nearby and shoot in as best we can. And the knight's are going to come this way too. And we've got a whole bunch of bonus economy up north. It's going to pay a lot of money. And you guys are just going to... These guys are just going to stand here and they're just going to deal with the knights. They're just, with the archers, sorry. The balls are just going to trundle straight through and that's fine. There's nothing I can do about that. But like the flails are just going to mosey on forward and they're going to try and do what they can. The flails are just going to mosey out here and it's all going to work out. It's going to be fine. This is... What knight is this? Uh, knight 11. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Dead. And it's a lot of these guys. But yeah, the flail's just going to start doing a lot of splash damage. And there's a lot coming in here. A lot coming in. Take you out. Take you out. Just watch out for the arch of fire. But the arch is going to be kept busy by a lot of bits and pieces here. There's a lot of fire being laid down on the balls. If we just break the balls, that's it. We've won. And the balls are basically gone. Like, okay, fine. These archers might be able to do a fair bit of damage to me. But, like, in the long run, what can they actually do? My troops, eventually my towers and everything will wear them out. Like, they, they basically can't. Like, we have one here. It's just a question of whether they manage to do any economic damage while it's happening. I can just go in, do a little bit of light damage, and the health come back. Because healing is really fast. And, yeah, the knight's coming in. The flail's going to start moseying in too. And I think we've pretty much got him. The crossbow. The crossbow is so slow. Catastrophically slow, but we've got it. Nice. Look at that. That's beautiful. And that's going to be a perfect. That's going to be a huge economic. And fifty-three. Wow. Fifty cocking three. It's it's the freebie night as well. Tonight is freebie night. So tomorrow. Just upgrade everything. Yeah, tomorrow is going to be disaster night. So okay. You can have sex. Congratulations! You can have you can have stone as well. Everyone gets stone. Everyone should at least be stone. We should not be having wooden towers at the moment. That's fine. Please make it symmetrical, please. And do you want these ones too? Please. It bothered me so Blah. much yesterday. Dear oh dear. Okay. What I think Thank we you. should have is we should have. A, is there a tower like literally by this gate? There's not, but I feel like I would like each gate to have at least one oil pot next to it, if at all possible. Now, you can't have uh, gates here, which is unfortunate. What we should also have is, yeah, more troops coming in. And we've already maxed out the economy. There is no more economy to be had, with the exception of, like, you know, this being... This could be an explosive mill. That's fine. Explosive trap number two. Do it. Explosive... Yeah, because if you do that again, yeah. when it's freebie night... Yeah. Um, How about... No, but John, before you do that, what? just upgrade that mill again and do the same thing again with that you did up there. Because it's freebie night. It's going to give you loads. You'll be able to... It's fair. Yeah, you know what? It is freebie night. So, yeah, if we just send the troops forward to deal with those bastards, then that will give me... Yeah, that's a really... That's a huge economy. And then it will just literally. And then you get can literally everyone. not do any more economy, I think. Yeah, there isn't any more point, economy. And I then think the, tomorrow night is going to be. It's going to be all left. the barracks. It's going to be all the barracks. Yeah, there's one house left, and yeah. obviously that's getting upgraded by the castle. Yeah. Because we've got that castle upgrade. Let's just get here and just hit these guys as they appear. So we just. The, the, this is freebie night, so that's fine. So go into there. Go. Dead. These are just like the scouts for the big attack, I suppose. And congratulations, you got past that. All right, cool. And now that should be, yeah. It's going to be like 60, 70. 53. Less than I was expecting, actually. Maybe I had a ton of bit of change last time. So, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now life gets interesting. Because, like, that 53 is going to disappear. Like, at some point. That 53 is going to disappear. Ah, okay. Sci-Fi Storm says enemy archers outrange the crossbows, so letting them walk after the melee units at the gates uh, mm -hmm. isn't bad. Yeah. I mean, I could just set the crossbows over on this side and basically just let them take care of the flyers and then they can waddle over to deal with whatever else is around. 
So I feel like that's not a bad start. I'm just going to pop them here. And mm -hmm. they can just they can just waddle wherever it is they want to go. The thing is, okay, every final tower upgrade is 15. But you do get either oil pots or ballistas or whatnot, which is pretty good. Meanwhile, there is, yeah, that's an 8, which I should definitely go for just because additional troops. That's only 8. Every, every barracks, at least every internal barracks, should be at least level 2. Okay, so now I can either have... I can afford two level three barracks upgrade for even more troops or two final upgraded towers. I mean, it feels like you... Pr well, I don't know. We'll see what the... The thing is, I'm kind of a little bit worried about, about setting up my... Because like, as much as I like the idea of the the oil towers at the front door, with, with the trebuchets and the archers, they just take down the towers before that's the thing. I feel yeah. like, if anything, maybe these towers... In the corners could be the ballista towers. They could be the ballista towers, like the really long range. We take out the tough target towers. Uh, and there's yeah, there's ten go straight for the castles. Ten straight go straight for the castles. But I feel like yeah, we. Oh, did you just send the crossbows to the side with the flyers? Yeah, correct. They can't deal with air. It literally says in the description they're not good with air. Can they? Oh, never mind. Okay. Well, then they can just, They don't like... have enough range for air. Oh, fair enough. Then they can Thank just... Thank you, chat. They can just chill out over here and just mosey towards the two large armies over in that direction. So that's absolutely fine. The two largest forces are over here. So the flares are already in a fine position because the flares will just mosey on out and they will just basically get mixed up with the two armies there. So I'm happy to kind of split you, like, half and half. So one of you can be, like, here... And one of you can be, mm. like, here. And they will just get mixed up as best they can. They'll do whatever they can. So that's absolutely fine. The knights have no particular specific direction they need to be going in. So I'm happy for the knights to just basically just... I'm just going to pop them in the center. And they will just mosey towards whatever the nearest threat is. So I'm happy for them to just basically... They can pick their own targets around here. The archers, I would like to start on this side. Just dealing with the flyers. They can just do that. And then again, you know what? There's no need to protect the farm. Because tomorrow's economy is irrelevant, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So in which case, the archers can just basically hide here. And, um... Yeah? The chat's talking about doing a catapult, um... Catapult towers instead of the oil towers. Yeah, the long-range blisters. Saying, yeah, yeah, exactly. And I feel like I don't want them to be at the front. Because if they are, then the trebuchets might take them out. But I feel like potentially... One on each corner. Then again, so little is coming What's from the... this direction. I feel like maybe... But what range do they have? They have though? huge range. That's their entire point. Okay, we're okay. definitely going to have at least one. So we'll put you into there. So yeah, there's iron plates. This is just a very tough. There's ballista. Ex extreme range. Mm. And a very powerful but low rate of fire. But they're very good at picking off the high priority targets. So I'm going to put one of them at the back. What I think I might want to do is maybe, like, have a really tough one just to, like, draw some attention. But, like, if anything... What, I... like an armoured tower? Or... Yeah. I'm kind of tempted to maybe have a ballista tower here. That seems better to me. Because then, like, the, the trebuchets, when they show up, they're going to be focusing on the gate and these two towers, meaning this tower can just get on with its job. I think that's... Yeah, I'm going to go for one ballista tower here. One ballista. Leave me with seven coins and possibly nothing to spend them on. Uh, might well, there might well be nothing left at this point. Uh, possibly I can, like, upgrade. I can upgrade one of the mills. Which, I don't know if it makes it, like, have... It gives it more health. Explodier? It might make it explodier. Yeah, you know what? Sure, why not? And I'm going to start down over here on... And I'm going to help out with the flyers. And I just keep an eye. And if need be, always cut through the castle. And uh, keep an eye on the north in case, yeah, trouble happens with this army. In fact, if anything, you know what? I'm a little bit... I'm just going to have a handful of knights just up here because I'm a little bit worried about the north. You guys can just be up here. And I'm going to start down in the south. All right, here we go. Here we go, final night. And nothing's... The flies are not coming in right now. And you guys are just doing an excellent job right there. You guys are just moseying in the right direction. Loads of barricades. I'm just going to get to here help out these guys as best I can to take out the trebuchet. Good. 
Trebuchet goes down. No towers have been eliminated yet. When Trebuchet shows up, oh, that should be like my pro target. Take you out. Take you out. There we go. There we go. There we go. First wave. Nice, 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 nice. What else is going on? That's flyers. It's flyers coming in from this direction. But I can really help out with flyers, uh, which is fine. Go. My dagger can't do anything to them. Oh, there's another wave. There's another wave, but there's plenty of foot soldiers heading in to interrupt them, and they're heading straight at the oil tower. I'd rather just be very confident the flyers are done. Yeah, I'm happy with the flyers. Right, you guys just start moseying in that direction. Those are me hunters. That's the me hunters coming in. Just start helping out the archers. Okay, so far this is looking under control. Blister 2. But the blister's actually been distracted by the fumes. And none of the trap nails have exploded yet. In fact, the economy's even holding, which is wild. But there's plenty more yet. Like, this this, this one takes time. Okay, here come the handful of... I didn't realize there were flies up there, but it's only going to be like 10 or something. So, okay, trap nail's going to be coming in. And that's just taken out like two of them. The oil tower is still doing so well. So, oh, I think the ballista just hit the oil tower. Just like, yeah, it was just like, nah, screw that noise. Through your thing. Okay. Stuff. Oh, hang on. We definitely got some trouble in the walls here. How did you get in? Oh, those, are those flyers? Are those flyers? They might be. I'm not sure. Okay. They're now defending it here. We've got more troops coming over. Oh, look at the look at the flails, though. Look at the flails and all the work they do. They are they are sexy as anything. They're doing good work. Nothing's inside the final walls. Uh, the walls are still actually standing for the time being. I think there might still be another final wave, though. I think it comes from the south. And if so, the archers are already in a good position. We're trying to... Yeah, it's oh, coming from the south. Go. Guys, come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Just start moving in this direction. Thank you. But, yeah, oh, I know. It's already gone. There we go. I think I think it was this tower that just... I think it's this tower has just taken every trebuchet down on this side. I think this, this has been an excellent tower. This tower has really done its job. So it's going to be... I think there might be more trebuchets. Yeah. But it's all going to be fine. Getting over the back. The archers doing their good work too. If we can just crack out the... Just make sure nothing else is at the top. The economy is... Actually, you know what? There's actually still economy over here. Amazingly. And now... Question of uh, finishing off the archers. Unless there's more. But if this is it... The flails are just coming in. Well done, flails. And the flails just do a big, a stupid circle. I love the flails. The flails are great fun. Get in there. Sort that out. My own archers doing the job too. There's that long range shot from that ballista tower at the back. And if we're lucky, this might no. just be dumb. Achievement F. Blimey. Now, is this going to cause more houses to be built? And also, what are we going to unlock? So we're going to unlock a whole bunch of new stuff. Oh, yes. And probably we're Very not going to get a desperately high score. So, yeah, like 9,000. So, okay. Up to God's Lotion. I'm not misreading that font, though. That says God's Lotion, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like you keep at the very back of the medicine cabinet. Um, <laughs> regenerate health faster. Delay it before health regeneration kicks in is reduced. Good. It's pretty good. Up to Wind Spirit. You permanently unlock a new upgrade path for your mills. Nice. So Wind Spirits can catch and block enemy arrows in range of the mill. So, okay, um, your mills are immune to range. Uh, which seems a bit situational. And then Castle Blueprint. I mean, I guess it depends if you've taken Ooh, walls the... walls and towers have way more hit points. Nice. <sighs> that one's tempting. That one's pretty tempting. I guess tempting. The, the, the wind thing would be good if you were investing extra, if you had the pumpkin patch thing, or... Is that more? I don't think it is! Boo! Oh. Boo! Boo! <laughs> All right, Claire. Well, I have a little drink of water. Why don't you have a little chance to catch up? Oh, my up? God. There are so many messages. Lol. People are very excited for this one. Sorry. Uh, shout out to <laughs> Ali, who beat the book 778 to the first message. Yes, I saw uh, it. And Ali gave us £10 and says it's been a while since I was around for a stream. I, don't, I won't draw my dump on here, but things have been rough and your videos have helped a lot. I do miss the community and the streams very much, so hopefully I can be around more soon. I did, I did send them right to the start. I did send yeah. a little message right to the start there. Ah, uh, Ali. Yes, we love you, Ali. Yes, indeed. And the book seven seven eight uh, says I'm building a new PC for Starfield. He gave us five pounds. Nice. And says also, John, I think you might enjoy the game freaking meat bags. Does it ring a bell? Actually, mm. wait, it kind of somewhere in the back of my head. I may have seen a trailer once upon a time, but it does not. I can't place it. Mm. 
Uh, and we've got a, a lovely message from Red Leader who gave us five dollars. Uh, and says thank you John and Claire for the amazing content and the even more amazing community. Uh, I grew up in a not super accepting environment and didn't come to terms with being gay until I met someone in your discord who helped me. Now I've been dating an amazing guy for years. I don't know where I'd be without you guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you and um, massive shout out to uh, the discord and the folks in discord that uh, helped you out. Because That's right. I feel like uh, <laughs> they did way more than us on this but uh, yes now kind of better just yeah one of the quests is achieve victory with snake snake Neck. mutator is just Neck. enemies drop a bit less gold snake. but like they're not tougher they don't hit harder snake. i think the snake god is acceptable to me i think you're gonna have that one straight away especially as we know you know what desert looks like mm. so bow is a good option for for desert because sure. there's a lot of windy windy paths i'd be tempted for then again, okay, the wall's having way more health. Absolutely agree. And then a tower's range and projectiles. But that would mean giving up the castle having range and project having its range of projectiles. I mean, the thing with the desert one is that yeah. the map is quite spread out, so yeah. you do have to be quite strategic with what you do in order for what night. I'm going for ta yeah, I'm going to go for ta I'm going to go for towers. I'm do I'm giving it a go. I'm going to give it a go. For those of you who didn't see this, this is uh, I, I failed miserably at this one in the video, but we're going to. But this is fine because this time there's not going to be like as much. There's not going. They're not going to have as much health. They're not going to hit as hard. It's going to be fine. So obviously you have to start off by building castle, and you start off with a really generous war chest on this one. So it's just a question as to uh, yes, how much you want to invest or not. And oh, you can get up to this one. Huh? You just have to walk up the, oh! the ramp. This was bothering Claire so much. I Wait. kept walking into the rock and not being able to. No, it's that. That's a cliff ledge. So this is a tower that nothing else can get up to. Yeah. Okay, that's quite good. Okay, so obviously I'm going for gold mine, mine straight away because mine pays for itself super easy. And I am. If they've got no health bonus, I'd be tempted to. Hang on, there's. Where is the. Yeah, barracks. I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for spearmen straight away. Spearmen are great on this map because they're just gonna keep pouring down and dealing with the horses. That's fine. So you're gonna go there and just keep them busy and slow them down, and that's all going to be fine. And then I will deal with ooh, blah, 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 blah. tower or double house. How I greedy. think double house for yeah, this one. Yeah, I agree. Absolute. Activate greed You've got mode. Your bow, right? Activate. Yeah, I do have my bow. Activate greed mode. Right. Let's see if I immediately die. So there we go. Just get two here. And lovely. Slows you down. And oh, yeah. They're really struggling to get past the spears. Yes. Yes. Spear boys. Activate spear mode. Lovely. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's gone well. That's gone well. These enemies wow. are, are Did actually... they not even die once? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, well, this is literally what spearmen are for. Yeah, that's true. I mean, bear in mind, yeah, the enemies you're seeing now have less health than in that first mission, but this is a harder level overall. I've not beaten it oh, yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, straight, like, wave, t like, night two is the 80, is the 18 soldiers and nine, and we're oh, coming yeah. straight for your base. So, like, if you do not build this wall, you die. This is, this is the you build the damn wall level. That's that's what you do on the on this one. So well, I'm obviously going to bring the spearmen over here. The problem being, if they have to regenerate, yeah, they have to regenerate all of that. But they are fast, so they can cross the map way, 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 way quicker, which is pretty good. So I'm just going to put you guys way. Are they good against the balls? The balls are big, so I believe so. I yes. Mean, I guess yeah, because yeah. they're not flying; they're rolling. Yeah. So I'm just going to kind of put them there and then slow them down a little bit. And then, then is that too far up if there is a tower? No, that's that's a prairie. I definitely want at least one tower. Definitely want at least one tower. If anything, I'd be tempted. The balls scare me. And I'd be tempted. Yeah, I'd go for an archery range. I'm buying an archery range and I'm going for longbow. I'm sorry, I like the longbow. I think the longbows do good job. Uh, you guys just go, just basically chill out right here. Do your thing. Just stay, stay right there. Do your best thing. You guys, I'm going to have you a little bit higher up, to be honest. So you're going to slow them down when they're in range of the archers. I can do a little bit. I'll have you like over here. And ideally, we can slow you down a little bit. That leaves me with two golds. So there's really nothing I can do with that side from build house. So, yeah, that's going to be fine. I'm just going to 
be around and do a, what I can here. Because right now my bow is, is weak, relatively speaking, just because, yeah, those guys are now coming down over here. No, guys, 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 yeah, this is... This is fine. They're getting very distracted. They're getting very confused. And bang! Oh, yeah. Bonus damage. Lovely. Lovely. And those guys are actually not even coming to the wall. They're coming over in this direction as well. And this is precisely what I wanted to see. They're all so distracted. Distracted. Lovely. Distracted. Lovely. Oh, this is. Okay. That's gone really smooth. I didn't even realize these guys are going to come here. But bear in mind, my economy is going to be a bit more flimsy. Because I'm not getting as much money dropping from the enemies. But the gold mine is doing great. Okay. This is 14 archers and 8, eight horsemen. But with the, the horsemen were super easy to deal with last time. And these are the same horsemen. So you guys are just going to go here. Exactly the same as last time. You you took care of that easy. Do I want to actually risk a gold? Is there another gold mine up here, by the way? Yeah. Is there one up here? Is that a gold mine? Yeah. Nice. That's my gold mine. I could go all gold mine. Uh, some folks were saying there's uh, easily defensible um, fields up top, up north. Although, obviously, you'd want to do that on a different night because, you know, you've got a lot of archers coming from the north right now. Yeah. I've got five remaining. You know what? I think with those archers and those guys, I think I'm, I'm going double mine. I think this mine is fine, and then I will go and deal with those archers. I think 14 archers. I can, bare minimum, slow them down enough that before they actually get to me, those those cavalry will be dead. I'm going to go deal with the archers myself. This is going to take care of itself. It's going to be fine. One dead. Just skirt in and out. Just keep them slow, busy, distracted, etc., etc. Get him. Dead. The next. Okay. And the healing is, the auto health regen is pretty good. And then just take out you. Take out you. Next one dead. It's just going to really slow him down. Just get over to here. Get behind him. There we go. Two of them out the way. Dead and dead. And I don't know what's going on with the cavalry, but I'm going to work under the assumption it's all fine. Take you out. Take you out. I'm going to assume my spearmen friends are already kind of moving in the right direction. Watch my health, but it's all under control. And we're not even going to lose a building. I would love it if we just got a defeat just flashed up because the cavalry just somehow won. Yeah. Doesn't look like it. Looks to me like the cavalry did their job and the spearmen were so far away. Oh, no, now that. 100%. 100%. 20 gold. Okay. This is where things get dicey. So, okay, we've got another 10 archers coming from the top. But with pretty much established, I could deal with that by myself. Or, like, one tower could deal with it. That is... Are those me hunters? That's me hunters, right? Those are the little bugs that are me hunters. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so there's me hunters coming in. Now, I think what we established is, yeah, if you kind of block up this path, they kind of go the long way round, don't they? Well, they go they go up that ramp yeah. right there. Well, I think, to be honest, what we need as a starting point is probably with 20 gold, it's time for a castle upgrade. Yeah, seriously. Because that opens up a lot, and I will take the yeah, builders. We've got three houses, so we don't necessarily need to throw down more houses immediately. These guys are not the best at dealing with... I mean, they're fast, but archers do a lot of damage to them. So, I feel like you guys can take care of this pretty nicely. Yeah, that's now got us... That's now got us a good defense here. Which is fine. I'm happy for you guys just to basically hold your position. Oh, you know what? It's me. They'll be good at dealing with the me hunters. I'm kind of... I'm kind of just happy to let them basically be at the front and deal with the me hunters. And then, one, two, three. No, no. One, two, three. I'm going to build that right there. Is there a tower up here? There must be. Yeah. Happy for there to be a tower up there. So I think that will deal with that quite nicely. And then I'm going to build one tower in this direction just to help with the archer problem. Like literally right up here. I don't think like walls are, uh, don't strike me as particularly useful. I'm going to put you no, right no, there. No, 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 no. Why? Because if you built it... Oh, you're doing both? No, I was going to do this one because it will pull them further north away from any economy I built here. Mm, It'll put enough. them away from economy. And then I think with that there, I'm willing to start putting a tiny bit of economy here or more houses. But honestly, having a having a bit of economy is okay. And yeah, I'm happy to go for just the just the plow. Yeah. So the reason I was saying no is that I prefer to put a uh, tower in like closer. Yeah. To uh, where they arrive, just because then it fires on them longer. Yeah. I'm gonna start up here. 
And honestly, I feel like, yeah, the tower can probably deal with most of this by himself. Especially, the, this, is an up, this is an upgraded tower, isn't it? We actually took very... Oh, yeah, the tower's got this. Fine. Leave this to that. Leave this to them. Let's see what's going on over here. And check if we need to provide any assistance to over here. Because whatever's going on, the tower is doing its own thing. Take you out, buddy. And then just, yeah, take out the Me Hunters, who are just going to try and desperately rush for the gate, because they've got nothing else they can do. And looks like the Me Hunters are, like, being staggered amongst them. The Spearmen are, at this point, being slowly... Yeah, the Spearmen are going to start coming in as reinforcements. But look how fast the reinforcements come in. So, just getting over there. The tower's going to do good work. They're going to get through the gate. But, like, you know, the Spearmen are doing great work right there, which is fine. This is the point where having the, the you know, the big heavy sword where you've got the splash is rather good. That uh, would be rather good at this exact moment in time. Take you out. The lovely, lovely fast recharge on that dagger. Really enjoying that. They're going to, yeah, they've got distracted by the tower. They're going to try and hunt it down. But honestly, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Yeah, that's that's gone smooth. That's gone smooth. So the economy is going to be flimsy. We're under control for now. Yeah, literally, I got, yeah. I got one coin off the enemy, I think, there. Maybe one from the archers over there that I just didn't see. I think maybe one just flew in there. So 19. Oh, bombs! If you didn't see the, uh, the, I don't think they showed up in the video. Those are bombs, like you know, uh, orc holding bomb in Lord of the Rings. Except it's just a rolly bomb, and it will hit the first thing that it's tr that it's in front of it. I think it is beelining for the castle, like the the castle beeliner lads. And I think it will, if it hits a wall, the wall's dead. I'm not sure anything can survive a hit from them. But what we can do with them is uh, we can build little barricades that will proper slow them down. Like, I think this wouldn't actually be that useful, like a wall here, for the simple reason that, like, it's it's not gonna it's not gonna stop them. It's gonna stop precisely one. Precisely one will be stopped by that. So I'm gonna build a little barricade here. I'm gonna build a basic tower up on this hill, just to shoot at them, to try and take them out, which is fine. I'm gonna say my archers are just going to be. Hey guys, my archers are just gonna basically yeah chill out here and just do what they can on this lovely little spot right here. There is a spot for another tower, which is kind of a nice spot for a tower, actually. But, uh, but, 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 but yeah, you guys just be here. Just be here. There's a really, yeah, now we've upgraded the thing. There's now a whole line of towers we can build along this, this spot. I am willing to build one. Is there anything up top at all? There's nothing up top right now. So in which case, I'm going to put a little bit of money into upgrading uh, pastures. So we've got some pastures right there. We've got some good economy right there. Then we've got the yeah, the lovely chappies right here. You guys just basically be here and just do what you can. Keep them busy. Do I want to have a wall here or would I rather have a secondary tower? I think tower's going to do the better job because if you just take out the bombs, uh, like just shooting the bombs is a better bet than doing anything else. So actually, you know what? You guys are going to keep them busy. So I'm gonna, if you guys are going to be right there, then you guys should be right here. Stay there. All right. And I'll stay on the high ground too, because I don't want to get hit by a bomb. So there we go, that's you. And that is a bomb. Slow down. But yeah, the bomb the bomb's taken out the I should have spaced out the spearman a bit better. That's 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 those guys, but that's fine. Just I'm just gonna follow this guy and make sure he goes down. Bomb number two goes down. Alright, prioritize that. Then the spearmen are gonna start coming in too. And he's gonna he's going for my mine! Ah, uh, he, he beelined for the mine, but that's fine. The mine will just be fine uh, tomorrow. And I don't think you can actually yeah, that guy cannot take out the... Yeah, he has been slowed down massively. He goes down. Is there one more bomb on the field? Yeah, there's one more. One more. Take him out. And he takes out a Spearman with him. But he's done. And that's it. Now these guys can't get to the thing. Boom. Lovely. All right. So I lost one mine. But the, the pastures are doing good. Pastures are doing good. That's up to 21. Okay. That's 12 me hunters. 30 archers coming north. That's a bit more of an interesting one. Do I even want knights? Because that is that's an archery range. There's way more archery range opportunities here. Because obviously, you know, it's the right environment for them. That's a normal barracks. I could get knights out. Do I want knights? Like, I just feel like knights are not necessarily that useful. I'm going to have a think and a poke around. Claire. Uh, yeah, uh, Vanek in chat asking a very interesting question that I also had. Um... The mine, which goes down in output each turn, if it dies, uh, does it have the decrease in the turn that it died? 
do, do we I have know any way this? of verifying this? No, because I can't go up to it to investigate it because you just teleport if you go into it. Indeed. So I do not know. That is a mysterious question I don't know the answer to. Sorry. Mm, pardon me. Um, and shout out also to uh, Sankey Gaming, who uh, has been a member for nine months. Uh, and says, I know that games like Life is Strange don't do too well on the channel, but do you have any plans on doing any videos on The Expanse by Telltale? You, if you think <laughs> if you think that Life is Strange doesn't do well on the channel, you go back and remember that we did like the first two full episodes of Batman the Telltale game. Which was quite good. Uh, that now that that was a series that nobody watched. Um, but like, I mean, also we haven't read or watched the Expanse, so. which was also kind of a shame because here's the thing: like part of the problem, and a lot of people criticize, and I agree with this criticism, with the episodic Telltale format across very often it's five episodes. Which is why we decided five, but five um, is like obviously like though the game says like oh you've got to make this big choice it's going to change everything like the plot ultimately no matter how big the thing you've been told to decide is the plot still needs to dovetail back in like it's strange you mean well any of these games of i these mean games, telltale yeah. it can't fractal out too much because otherwise you'd be in a world where like okay we're releasing episode four but like depending on what choices you made it would be a completely different cocky game wouldn't it like, you know, if you just, if, if you, if you push the button to detonate the nuke and you've blown up the town, well, now your game's like, be somewhere else. Like, you've got a completely different environment to, to be in and da, da, da. And you can't do that. Like, it's, it says like, oh, big choices, big consequences. Yeah, but big consequences where five times in a row, or sorry, four times in a row, because the first episode is just the first episode, your character is always going to be in the same place doing roughly the same thing, just with a slightly different cast. Batman the Telltale game was actually one of the games that didn't do that. Its fifth episode is genuinely two games. Depending on how you treat the Joker, like, it genuinely splits in two. And, like, if, nice. he's, if he's chill or not, is it's a wildly different experience. It's completely different scenes. Like, it dovetails right at the end. Like, the final scenario is similar, just with a different script. But, like, the actual scenes before it are wildly different. And it's actually lived up to the promise, which was really cool. But we never made it to that. We only did the first two episodes. We never did three, four, or five. Uh, I, I, I caught someone else's ending. Uh, which is uh, someone else's uh, videos on it, which was great. Uh, so, yes, that was, that was super good. But, yes... <laughs> Life is Strange is... Uh, life is Strange, I like when it was episodic. It, it made good live streams. Like, it was good to do the live stream folks. That was a good way of making it work. This is why True Colors had a bit of a problem fitting on the channel. I wasn't sure how to make it fit. So, yes, that was a bit of a bit of an issue. What I'm going to do is up north for 30 archers. I'm going to give them a wall just as a distraction. And I'm going to give them two, two towers. And that should be absolutely A-OK. -okay. Uh, two archers aren't going to be able to do much to that. Over on this side, 12 me hunters, I think will be fine if I just send my spearmen up in that direction. And also, uh, I could be tempted for a level... How much would this be to upgrade instead of interest? No, I can't do that till level level 3. I will be tempted to say, you know what, you can have that. What I'm going to do under the circumstances, yeah, the, I'm going to take the archers up top. I'm going to take the archers up top and they're going to support that tower. It's going to be fine. That's going to be fine. We're going to lead them in that direction. You're just going to go up here. So you buddies are just going to chill out. And you're just going to help be on top of him. It's going to take them 10 million years to get up to you. And there is a supporting tower. And there is a, a barricade in the way. No chance in hell you're getting past that. And you guys, honestly, though you're not very good at dealing with them. Ah, you know what? I'm going to send three of you. Over here, I'm going to start you off over here, so you start trundling out later. Just to, basically, just as distractions. And one of you, congratulations, you're coming up here, and you are going to just literally stab those guys as they come in, and you're just going to distract them and slow them down. In fact, you know what, you buddy, you can be a little bit further forward because I'd like to slow them down. Congratulations, you're going to die. I'm sorry about that. Uh, okay, which leaves, and I'm pretty confident that's going to work. So in which case the rest of my money can be economy, in which case the best option might well be more plazas up north. Like there is space for more, I mean there's loads of plane space up here. And yeah, screw it, Make, they, this, this is going to be the core of my economy. We're going to have to defend this because this is the core of my economy right here. 
Did I say there was going to be... Did I say stone tower up here already? Yeah, that's already one stone tower. There's going to be one more stone tower. Because this is the one that's going to come under fire first. And that's going to be fine. Right, this should be really manageable. Claire, while well, we just let these guys do their business. Yeah, uh, the chat is discussing whether Resident Evil 4 series or, uh, or uh, Life is Strange are better on the channel. Resident Evil 4, but by, by terrifyingly little. Yeah. <laughs> terrifyingly small amount. Really terrifyingly small oh, amount. Oh dear, oh dear. Shout out to Gary who gave us £10 and says I'm playing Baldur's Gate 3. Really enjoying it, but wow, does this game have depth. I'm getting, getting yes, I mean Baldur's Gate 3, not, not Thronefall. Or oh, wow. Yes. Yes, I... That's what I was assuming. Yes. All right. Yes. Good, good amount of economy there. 25. Nice. And now we've got... Okay. So the horse is coming in up the hill again. But honestly, the horse is up the hill. Now the horses are coming up the hill. And they're not bombs coming from that direction. I'm willing to put up a basic wall here. Because that's going to slow down the horses a lot. I and mean, the horses are not particularly good at getting through that. Which is fine. The bigger problem is... Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Bombs and big laddies. Yeah, the big laddies I'm not so worried about. In fact, you know what? That's not that much. That's manageable. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to, to double up my archers. Yeah, I'm going to do it. All right, that's absolutely fine. So you guys can just be here. In fact, you know what? Uh, half of you can be there. Half of you can be actually less than half. Uh, only three of you should be fine, especially with the tower supporting you. You guys just basically chill out right there. You can be there. You guys are going to be guarding over here. That's fine. I'm happy to put maybe one more tower because these are like, you know, mega towers and whatnot. We can't upgrade the walls just yet. I would be okay with another tower. This is like a distraction tower in a way. But like, yeah, the, the, the economy here is not going not gonna to fly. You can be here. That's fine. I will help take out the bombs. This... Should be fine. Like, I don't think anything's going to be able to make it past here. So the rest of it, the rest of this money can now go into economy. And this is... Uh, these are all level two houses. We need some more have basic houses down. We need the houses down. Let's get some houses down here. Everything else into houses. That's only one gold remaining. That's fine. I'm just going to stay up here. And I'm going to take out the bombs as best I can. I think I can do a pretty good job taking out the bombs. Just... Don't be standing next to them when they burst. That's that's the key. But the tower is, yeah, hitting way, way harder than me. That's absolutely fine. The barbarian is going to attempt to take out the, um... Yeah, going to attempt to take out the tower. If I can, like, distract the barbarian. Oh, don't... Okay, the tower went down to the bomb in the end. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I was kind of hoping that one wouldn't take out the... You know what? I thought that was an instant kill. But that actually did less than I thought it was going to. That's going to take out that gate. It's actually not. I'm actually amazed that is that that's alive. That I, I'm generally surprised. Also, that tower's getting involved. Well done. Well the flipping range. done. Yeah, that is that the range on that. The flipping range. I'm guessing the flipping uh, the horses are dead by now. Go dead. All right. This is working right now. This is working. And okay, now... That's good. Now, yeah, we've got a good amount of money. But now stuff starts coming in en masse. But it's only one bomb per direction. Which is basically just enough to do a lot of damage to one of the walls. It's not really... It's actually not enough to get through. Now, I do have the 20 I need for level 3. Then I can start going for stone walls. Do I want stone walls yet? Is that really necessary? Questionable questionable spearmen are not going to be much use in this scenario spearmen are not going to do much to any of this uh in a way but then flares aren't going to be the best either i think there was a second archery range right yeah i'm, I'm going second archery range screw it let's let's flip it go more archery range more long bows and you can't stop me right airing's fine it's going to be you guys coming up here you guys just stay here the right tower defenses should do this. Claire, while I'm just thinking how to spend the money here. Yeah, shout out to Philip who gave us five dollars and says I love Thronefall. I really enjoyed this game and loved your take on it. Have you considered going back to revisit Raft? Raft? Oh! Do you want to tell the really fun story about Raft, Claire? 
you want to tell the hilarious story about Raft? Do you want to tell all the boys and girls why Raft is the, the game you have nightmares about? Once upon a time... I will interject when Claire lies, because Claire's about to lie to you all, by the way, FYI. There's about Once to be upon lies. a time, ladies and gentlefolk, <clears throat> John says to me, oh, you know, I could really do with somebody to help on the channel. Um, you know, if you're interested, uh, we can do a little test and see how your editing goes, uh, you know, and see if we, we might want to think about hiring you for the channel. Mm. Um, and then... He gave me an editing test I did. and he says to me, Oh, do you wanna um, do you wanna check that you've not made a mistake after you know you've edited it? Do you wanna do do you wanna do it basically whole check rewatch it at once? And of course I was doing this at the weekend, out of work hours, I'd spend a lot of time on it. And I was like, Well, we should look at it kind of together, you know. Um, and I think we found, what, two mistakes in it? Something like that? One or two mistakes the entire thing? Something like that. My, my first time editing a video for many a true nerd. You monster. Um, and that was with me not having done an extra, you know, view through. Mm hmm So John said, well, we can't really hire you. You've made a mistake. I'm just going to give you another, uh, another editing test. And he gave me Raft. Did. How long was Raft, John? I can't remember. I mean, it was probably about three hours base going down to about 50 minutes if I had to put an estimate in. you wanted me to editorialise on it as well, I if I I did want you to editorialise, that's correct. And, and you, were, uh, you were quite... Um, Mind you, you know, editorializing, uh, having having not recorded the video, not knowing what's actually in it, editing it for the first time, yeah, um, is in fact very uh, not really possible to editorialize on your first pass on a video. Appreciate that now, yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, reasonable, yeah, 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 sure. Anyway, um, I think I spent literally my entire two days off my entire weekend oh more it. than that you were you were agonizing over that for a long time and you know i'm an anxious potato but at that time i didn't know that i had you know anxiety that uh, that mental health professional would talk to me for 15 minutes and then be like well obviously you're very anxious um so yes, mm -hmm. slaved away at it for a long time. She did, you know. And then it was terrible. You hated it. You read it at all. I think I redid the whole thing because yeah. it was just awful. You just did just a terrible job. Uh huh. One in the middle, right here, and one. Because I house. didn't know what I was supposed to do, and you gave me a really fucking hard. It was task. a hard video. It was a it was hard a video. Really it hard. was a very hard video. That it, was a it very wasn't... tough task. I mean, to be fair, it just wasn't really appropriate for an interview, like, trial task. No, it was not. Like, the first one that we did was... Yeah. Uh, and I This tower's good, by the way. This yeah. tower will be able to hit both these sides. And I'm big, <laughs> uh, that's why I'm, I want to stay here so I can keep an eye on these sides. And the north, I'm just going to... That's why I put the spearmen there. They're just going to have to deal with that. So I'm just going to stay here. And it's all going to be fine. And everything's going to be okay. I'm not sure if they're all going to come at the same time or not, but... These guys are, yeah, these guys are nice and slow. The bomb is waiting to, the bomb's waiting. The bomb is, the bomb's not showed up yet. The bomb's just flipping waiting. The archers, okay, this is, that's looking fine on this side. Uh, over on this side, this is looking dicier, actually. I think that, that was just the walls disappearing, wasn't it? Let's get up to the high ground myself here. Get up to you guys. Yeah, there's still a handful of you, but like, it's just so backwards and forwards here. It's just so backwards and forwards, it is going to take them a long time to get up to the archers. Now, there are two... Okay, there's two big chonkers right here, but I'm pretty sure I can take you out and you out. Okay, good, and everyone else took care of the job. So this was the weak point right here. This was the weak point. 35 knights coming in from north and... No, nope, every direction. Oh, nothing but knights. Okay, well, we know what nothing but knights means. Nothing but knights means we're going to be needing more cocking bastards. More spears. Oh, Ted. Ted, Ted. Oh, you go check if he's seen something. Come Ted on, might have imagined a fox in the garden. Or seen a fox in the garden. The way he's going to report it is he saw a fox in the garden. He's guarding us against ah, it. But, like, I, I think he just see. I think he goes to sleep, wakes up, sees his reflection in the window, and thinks there's a monster in the garden, and it's him. That's a thing. That's that's a thing he does. 
And that's that's what I that's what I'm gonna say. All right, I think that's what's happened here. And okay, there's nothing coming up in this direction. Thirty-five horses to go. That is a lot. And until I get the castle up to this level, I can't get another level. That is. Hang on, what were you? Oh, you're just another McJibble. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I'm tempted by the possibility of just. Isn't there enough? Uh. Mm, Ghibli Jibble. Hang on, what are you? That's just towers. I could have sworn there was another... That's... No, that's that's the second archery range. Is there no second barracks? No, there is. There's another barracks right there. Honestly, in a world where there's that many horse coming in... All spears! Let's go. Let's flip it go, alright? Spearmen, spearmen, spearmen. Guys, I, I need you to separate out a little bit so I can, I can tell the difference between... Would you mind just like... Separating out into your into your constituent groups, please. Are you guys going to? Okay, you you guys are mostly spearmen. G good luck, basically. G good luck with it. It's all going to be good fine. Shake, Ted. You just get down over here and you just do the best you can. You're going to sit right behind John's chair, right behind the wheels. That's fine. That's allowed. Right. Upgraded oh, good thing. Good job, Ted. Good boy. And then yeah, then you are mainly archers. I do not need all of you here. I could do with maybe a handful of you here. You guys just chill out right here. That's fine. Three of you can just be... Are you archers? Yeah, you're archers, aren't you? Yeah, you're from the other archery range. You guys stay here. You guys stay up here. You guys... Yeah, there's, there's plenty of defense up here. You guys just basically stay here. Do the best you can. That's fine. And then I will separate out the spears. So spears number one is going to go to here. And spears number two are going to go to there. Like four spears is a lot when it comes to cavalry. Now I'll admit it's a lot of cavalry. I won't lie. That, that is a lot of cavalry. But I've still got 12 left over. So, ooh. The problem is this is where my economy is, which unnerves me. Tower. And then, uh, bu 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 you know what? This tower covers both spots really well. That actually covers both spots really well, actually. You know what? Yeah. Upgraded tower. And I've got enough economy for the time being. I'm happy with that. Uh, do I want to help out with any in particular? Where's the, where's the weak point? I want to, there's a specific weak point, but, uh... Ooh, I'm nervous about the north of my economy. If that goes down, that could slow me down a lot. I feel like there's a lot less here. I'm going to help out with with this. I'm going to help out here. I'm just going to take out these guys a little bit. There we go. Just take you out. There's, there's a lot. There is a lot coming in here. How are the spears doing? I mean, they're doing a competent job, but, but like they're gonna keep coming. They're gonna wear. They're gonna wear us down. They're gonna wear through us eventually. Like with even with me assisting, they're starting to be in trouble. But there is plenty more here. I'm just gonna check what's going on elsewhere. I just want to make sure. Yeah, the spears are doing an excellent job holding here, and the spears are gonna regenerate up on this side, which is good. So yeah, the spears are just kind of coming out and causing trouble. There's a lot. An awful lot of that. I, don't, I assume these guys aren't going to be that good when it comes to taking out gates, surely. Surely knights can't be effective taking out gates. Like, historically, I say historically, according to Total War, that's not really so much of a thing. Knights are the, the cavalry are going to struggle with walls and whatnot. I mean, they're making their way in, but it looks to me like the, yeah, the tower's going to hold pretty nicely there. Looks like we're okay on this side. Uh, and, okay, there's still a fair whack going on over on this side. Uh, if anyone just wants to go in. But then these spearmen are very intelligently redistributing themselves. Uh, and we're okay. We're okay for now. Night's survived. The economy is... Okay, 31. And, oh, blimey, it is... Okay, there's an interesting one. It is a massive wave on this side. Huge wave on this side. Uh, and uh, 35 me seekers up the north, which is not so bad. And I think that means it's got to be time for reinforced. Actually, I literally can't afford to reinforce wall. Because if I go for reinforced thing, that takes me down to 11. And it's 12 to set up a stone wall, isn't it? <sighs> literally can't do it. Okay. In which case, the better option might just be 
set up distractions here. Like, we've got you. You are going to be a stone tower as well. These are reinforced, tougher towers. They're going to do... Hello, Ted. <laughs> reinforced, he tougher towers. He likes making good noises. He does enjoy making good noises. This would be even more spears. I need to get a little bit more economy down. Because the problem is, I think the gold mines are now empty. That's the problem. I think the gold mines have run dry. What we do have is we've got one more. Yeah, you know what? More economy. More improved plows. Like, the economy is heavily dependent on the north right now. This is uh, a bit scary, but we are where we are. Um, don't spend any more on economy. We've got a load of spearmen. I don't need all of you. Like, some of you come up here and just basically help deal with this situation. This is not much here. This is really not much, but... Ugh. Stay here. Hold this position around the gate. Can I give you a second tower to back you up at all? Probably not. Look at the house up here. That, oh, that, oh, there's loads of housing up here, potentially. This is where housing lives. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Uh, okay, rest of you. All of you, all of you, all of you. Everybody else... You're all going to be right here. Congratulations. You're all just going to chill out right here. And honestly, go and find targets if you need them. I'm going to upgrade you. So, no, I say upgrade you. I'm going to build you, in fact. Upgrade you. There's three stone towers before they even get there. And there's wooden towers supporting. Now, there are trebuchets. I need to take them out. If I take out the trebuchets, I think we're under control. That leaves me with four gold remaining. I'm going to put them into housing because I think we need more houses to upgrade. Okay. Uh, bare minimum, at least I can stay around here. And my job is to take out... The bombs and the trebuchets. The bombs and the trebuchets. The problem is I don't know which one's going to spawn first. So we're just going to see what happens. And the answer is... That's a me had trebuchets. Trebuchets have to go down. Uh, probably just get past them. Go. Get around the back. Uh, okay, I'm a little bit under attack myself right now. This is, this is, everything's fine. Everything's fine. They've got a fair whack of health on them. And I'm being a little bit shot here. I'm being a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. Oh, I'm not trying to get away from this. Hide to the corner, 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 hide to the corner. Stab. <laughs> Somehow we got away with it. Uh, okay, this is fine. No idea how we got away with that. No idea. Right, the bombs are coming in, but the tower's doing a good job. Uh, right, trebuchets bombs, down. Bombs bombs, 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 bombs. I can't stab the bombs, though. I will die. But the bombs have been distracted by the towers. What's going on up north? I think up north the, the spearmen just won. All right. <laughs> All right. Everything's fine. 12 berserkers coming in from the north, but that's it. Oh, is that? No, 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 that's not it. 35 uh, uh, town hunters, uh, tower hunters. Oof. It's time. It's it's flipping and time. Level, 12 level three. Big lads. Yeah. 12 big lads up north. The towers can deal with that. But, yeah, if you guys are now the hunters, I think it's time for. Oh, that's only seven, actually. It's because it's shorter, I think. You are now reinforced. Congratulations. And I'm building, I'm building another layer of just a small wall. Just a very small wall. Can I maybe afford to upgrade you? Seven. I can. Yeah, tonight's the night we're just reinforcing the walls. Because that farmland is too valuable to lose. And all of the spears are coming down here. They're all coming down here to assist and do what they can. And just basically stab those bastards and slow them down. The vast majority of the archers, I think, ought... To come and just be around here. All of you, all of you. The problem is it's very difficult to get them all separated out from each other. Uh, okay. You guys just be over here. Just, just form a nice little group. Nice little group. Nice little group. Okay. So like, some of you. Some of you are going to be here. I think you're mostly archers. There we go. That's going to be fine. Rest of you are going up north. Because, yeah, I consider the threat to... There's there's more towers up here. There's a lot of towers up here, in fact. You guys just get to here. And we're just going to let the towers do the work. It's going to be a tricky one. 
this one's this one's gonna be interesting. But like, I feel like this has got this under control. In fact, you know what? I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna take more up north because I feel like there's enough. These guys have got towers, but again, okay. We'll see if I how I feel about this. There's, there's a lot of barriers between them and the castle. I'm gonna start down here though because I'm scared of that 35. So okay, the tower's doing an excellent job right away, and I've got a lot of spears here. Spears are okay. The spears have got this. The spears, the spears have got that. That's fine. That's under control. Head north. The barricades are holding. It's gonna take them a while to get through the stone gates. Stab. Shoot. They're gonna get through. Okay, we need reinforcements up north, and we need them uh, about now because I'm pretty sure you guys have already won, right? You've come close to it. Guys, get north. Get north. Get north. Get north. All right. Get in this direction. The economy could be in a spot of bother. Uh, if I can just distract them while they're working on the towers, that would be good. We've got more shots coming in. We've got more. Yeah, they. I think they get distracted when they're under attack. Okay. Go stab. Go stab. Go stab. There we go. We've lost one farm. The others are... Holding for now. Dead. And now the reinforcements are piling in. Honestly, could have been worse. Like, yeah. most of the economy survived there. Most of it survived. And still got 30. And now we've got the, the big investment. Oof. What? Is this the final night or... I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Claire, scroll back. Yeah, scroll no, back on the stream and see see what number it says at the start of the last night. Check what number it said. Maybe there's not a freebie night on this one. Uh, come on then. It should be right as you as I click on the uh, as night begins as like the color fades. No, that's where I thought I was. And it should be any second now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. No, you were right there. It was about to happen. Literally, I was holding A to begin the night. Yeah, but you know how I be with that. Mm hmm And okay. it will say on the bottom of the screen. Ten. Out of eleven. Mm, I don't think so. I think it's ten out of twelve. Uh, you have to lose that then. Okay, we'll figure it out. We're going to figure it out. That was the free night. Oh, that was... People are saying that was the free night. Lol. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. People are saying, yeah, it is final night. Okay. There are a lot of bombs. Uh, in fact, yeah, there's no bugs. Z uh, you know, no, no, there's some me hunters coming from the north. And some, t okay, and there's some, there's some, yeah, uh, castle hunters coming from the south. Trebuchet's coming from one and bombs coming from the, oh, blimey, Okay. I mean, the economy did okay, but like you know, we're not we're not going to be able to upgrade everything or anything like that. Uh, okay, lots of archers and cavalry, lots of archers and cavalry, lots of bombs. The bombs are the problem. Uh, but then again, the bombs are going to eat the economy up here. The bombs aren't making it through. Uh, more ballista towers, people are saying. More ballista towers. I can see the sense in that, like ballista towers in the centre. Uh, yeah, shout out to the Geek Cupboard, who's in chat, saying more ballista towers down at the bottom left to take out those catapults. I agree. I agree. I mean, yeah, this would be... You know, only eight for stone. Hmm... <sighs> Yeah, I'm tempted to say that's acceptable. That's acceptable. There's a lot coming from there in particular. But I agree. I would like maybe... I think this might make a good ballista tower because it's going to have... Rate, it's going to have, protected it's gonna well. have a lot of... It's going to have a lot of shots at everything, which is good. That... Ted. Ted. Ted, Ted. Hey, honey bun. Hi. Oh, hang on. We need to cuddle a dog. Mandatory cuddle time. Hello. Hi. Did you imagine a ghost? Or did you in fact just see a fox in the garden? You didn't see a fox. There's not a fox. Even when there's a fox, you kind of suck at seeing it, Ted. Oh, you're going to snitch on him right now. I'm going to snitch on the dog. Come here, Ted. Come have a cuddle while I'll snitch on you to the Claire's chat. about to tell a very unfair and untrue story. Yeah, Ted's about version Ted. of event is different to this. Yeah. So uh, yesterday, me and Ted were both sat in the living room. He was facing the garden. 
I was facing the inside of the house, but I happened to see a reflection in the window of something that looked like a tail, you know, in the corner of my eye. Yeah. So I turned around and I saw a fox in the garden and Ted just hadn't seen it. Yeah. So I got up to go shoot the fox, which kind of woke Ted up. And he went like, oh, yeah, there's, a, oh, there's something in my garden. And he started running around in the garden like a Looney Tunes dog. And then he was very excited all evening. Come and sit with me, Ted. You're fine, yeah, Ted. Come you and can. Sit with me. Claire's now on the floor to have a bit of a Ted cuddle. Come you on. guys are going to be here to deal with this small force. You can deal with that supported by towers. Over here, this is a bit more of an interesting one. I've got money for one more reinforced tower, and I feel like. I feel like this is okay. This is under control. Like, this is not a bad fallback for. I mean, this tower here would not be a bad fallback for. Yeah, if the barbarians make it through everything. We've got a lot of archers coming in. A lot of archers coming in. You guys can just basically, yeah, the archers over here. You guys can basically just hold your position right here and do what you can. That's fine. You guys, four archers here. Uh, do we even need you guys for this position? I mean, honestly, yes, probably. You go there. Oh, yeah, there we go. I've got a lot. There's 50 horses coming from that direction. I'm going to send. I'm going to send. I'm going to send six spearmen to go and reinforce this direction. You guys are going to be here, leaving two spearmen to go and deal with this by themselves. Because I'm going to be honest, you're basically just. The, okay, the north is going to fall. We can't stop that. But the north will also come down here and hit the next wave. And by that point, this should be done. And these guys can be redeployed to that. I'm worried about... But then again, there's not that much going on up here. It's pretty undefended, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be paying attention to the south and over here. So, okay get to here. You guys can deal with that. Yeah, the spearmen should be able to slaughter these guys. That's all fine. And what's going on over here? You guys are taking care of that. Just get to you. Watch out for the barbarian as best we can. The you kind of have cut through this. That's holding for now. That's holding for now. What's going on up the top? It's going to take them... Okay, those guys are... Oh, that's a concern because that's... Th those are the guys who are hunting me. Those are the me hunters and they've made it straight past the defenders and they are not being distracted by the tower. But that's fine. If they're going for me, do they have to go through the escape from this side? Also, what's going on up top right now? I mean, honestly, the spearmen have done a brilliant job just buying time. Well done. Okay, let's just check in over here. This is going... Okay, the south is going absolutely fine. The south is going a okay the north is, yeah, the, the central tower and the castle is holding pretty well. This is looking the diciest right here. I'm just going to take out the trebuchet. Uh, catapult, sorry. Probably. Oh, no, you don't. Damn. Bang. Okay. Catapult goes down. Catapult, literally, I'm right at the right moment for catapult number two to be popping in. Brilliant. Needs to go down too. Just take that out and that's going to do a lot to salvage my defenses. Good. Good, good, good. You're over there. Okay, that with those dead, I'm pretty happy. This is going well. We've got more coming in. You are not getting past these defenses. You guys are... There's more me killers coming in, but they're running the gauntlet. Yeah, they're being taken out by the castle. So that situation's under control. I'm worried about all of the heavy lads up top. Eventually, I mean, actually, they're coming in sufficiently staggered. They're not getting anything done, which is good. If they come in all, in the, all together, they'd have been able to take the north. But the north is actually holding... For the time being. The south is... I'm amazed that this bit's actually now looking the diciest. But, I say dicey. Like, there's plenty more towers. And if I just go in, reinforce... There's a big bomb! Bomb goes boom! Okay, that's another me hunter. More bombs coming in. We just focus on that. Avoid that. Bomb goes down. Well done. Okay, the bombs are piling in from the south right now. But there are enough spearmen, reinforcements, just piling in to stop them. And there we go. Another bomb goes down. Okay, that situation's under control. Checking on the others. What's going on up north? 
gate is holding. It's not going to hold for too much longer. The bomb's coming in from that direction too. But I can't stop them. So I'm not sure why. I, I can't do anything about that. Don't even worry about it. The towers will do what they can. That's holding. The me hunters from the north are holding. More pining in from this direction. This has got to be dry at this point. That's all there is there. Take you out. Take you out. And... Uh, we're holding. Okay, the archer. Yeah, there's plenty of archers here. You guys can now go uh, somewhere else. No, there's more coming in yet by the Luke's of it. More me hunters. And we got ourselves a victory. Blimey. Okay, and that was with... Yeah, that was with one mutator. That was one mutator, not two. So, honestly, I'm pretty happy with how that went. So, yeah, gold bonus. The mutator bonus, 1,000. So, yeah, we got 7,600. New record there. And... Uh, Hunters unlocked a new upgrade path for ranged units. Hunters excel against monsters, uh, have decent melee capabilities as well. Okay, so the buggy bugs. All right, they're good at doing with that. That's lovely. Gladiator school. Units are trained much faster. All nice. barracks are more expensive. Okay, so the reinforcement rate is quicker. Which, yeah, particularly if you're just spamming huge amounts of melee. Or war horse. Your horse is faster. Riding over enemies deals damage. No. Lol. Okay, and there we go. We've got some. We've got some good stuff there. We've got some good stuff there. Okay, the mutators are yeah vicious bastards. And now we've got the snow. We have the snow. What is going on in the snow precisely? I don't. You know, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna play and I'm just gonna scout out the snow. I want to see what the map looks like before I make my decision what I want my perks to be. So. Okay, we, we, what we appear to have is, yeah, like... Oh, okay, this this gets big, potentially. This is... Can I walk over that? No, that you cannot walk on the ice lake. There's, like, a really big loop. Huge loop here. Uh, hey, John? Yes? Uh, Salanti in chat wants to know, what's a better motivate? What's a better motivator for you, encouragement or spite? You can't do it, or you can do it. Oh, spite! Absolutely. Hey. I'm I'm absolutely motivated by spite, hundred mm. percent. Okay, it's a big donut the by the looks of it. The snow level is a beast, says Geek Cupboard. I'm not surprised. Okay. Ted says, oh. Okay, let's resign now that we know it. Okay, it's, it's a big donut, so there's not that many angles of approach, but there's not those big, lovely, those big, lovely, like you know, weedy, windy paths I can use to. To knack them with. So, okay. Continue. Go back. We're going to try and figure out how we defeat the snow level. Which is which is interesting. Because, yes, yeah, it's, it's way more wide open. We, we don't have the advantage of the terrain here. So, I'm going to play that. I'm going to turn the mutators off. Because this is, this is a beast of a level, apparently. And victory is... Oh, blimey. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I'll start with bow. Bow is fine. I'm just literally going for the basics here. Like, clearly the achievements are, yes, just uh, stacking 10... I don't even have those mutators yet, so I, I can't have those anyway. Um, oh, yeah, some of these mutators I have yet to unlock by the looks of it. So I'll start with Bow. What do we want here? Do I want War Horse? War Horse is kind of hilarious, but I'm going to be honest. The Walls and Towers way more health. That worked for me. Arcane Towers, that worked for me. I'm going to stick with that perk loadout. I'm turning all the mutators off for now. That's what we're going to do. All right, it's going to be fine. I've got my bow. I've got re really strong towers and walls. No mutators, as this level is apparently like an absolute monster. Seven coins is a uh, very... Yes? Shout out to Major Wes Jensen, who's been a member for nine months, and says the map is a snow nut shape. If Claire stands far away, she's down on the ground cuddling a dog because she yeah, got to be stressed out. Get up. What's going on, by the way, is our poor Ted is itching a fair bit with his hay fever. Mm -hmm. um, his eyes are starting to go a little red again, poor thing. Oh, are they? Do you think? He's pink. Maybe a tiny bit, yeah. Yeah. Oh. He's been itching himself a lot today. Oh, Ted. So I think we'll have to report him. We're, we're in talks with the vet, so that's not, you know, he's being very well taken care of. Okay, so we've got Blacksmith. Researchers upgrades. Upgrades apply to you, your units, and your buildings. Then we've got Archery Range. That's just basic housing. And we've also got a Harbour. Builds a fishing boat every morning. Maximum five boats. Each boat generates one gold a day. Do the boats get destroyed if this thing gets destroyed, though? Because that's possible. 
So, yeah, basically, that just gets more valuable over time. It's like an inverted gold mine. Once it gets going, it's very, very strong. So, okay. There's seven to start off with. No mutators. We can deal with that. So, in which case... I mean, can I actually afford to build that right now? I could, but I feel like I should definitely have just some basic houses. Just basic houses to start me off here. That's 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 where we want to go. Just give me a house and give me another house. Just so I've got some money coming in. It's going to be fine. And then we'll deal with these seven myself. Okay, and just take out you. Bang. And then two. Just wait for it to come back. Bang. That gets my dagger back in no time whatsoever. Yeah, this is fine. Clam! Uh, Claire might be too busy cuddling a dog to do the no, reading no, no, right no, no. now. No, I'm reading the chat. The chat said that if the dog gets killed, you just don't get an extra boat that day. Ah, that's not bad, actually. That's that's a good deal. We should get that built, like, ASAP in that case. But also, I'm trying to tell the dog to go and, you know, s sleep somewhere else because I want to see the map. Oh, shit. This is... Okay, the economy doesn't exist in this level. Got it. Um, What's coming in next? 17... 17 blobs. Blobs? Blobs. I've never seen them before. We have to get the harbour down. I don't know what a blob is, but I want towers to help me with them. Okay. Activate blob. Hello. Are they like... They appear to be small and weak. I think they're like snowballs. I think I'm being, I think I'm being attacked by sentient snowballs right now. They look a bit like... Droplets, maybe, as well. Yeah, like slimes or something. Well, the tower seems to be able to deal with them. So this is, of course, a reinforced arcane tower. And, yeah, that's fine. I probably could have dealt with that by myself, but it doesn't hurt. So I've literally got two gold to come again. But, the yeah, this is going to start generating more gold. That's crossbowmen, who have very low range. Anything else coming in? No, nothing. Okay, it's got to be economy. The problem is, no fields. Because it's really cocking cold. So, okay. Can I can I set up any more anything? Not yet. Not till I upgrade at the bare minimum. Okay, so the problem here is the economy is awful. Well, in which case, it's, it's got to be houses. We've just got to put more houses down. Just get every house down we can. Because that's, that's all we've got. And this will get better over time. Okay. This was not many. There's oh oh blimey. Okay, you get you guys hurt. All right, I get ya. I I I I hear ya. Oh blimey, you slowed me down proper as well. Okay, it was only four though, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was only four. You're taking out. No no no, not my, not my thing. 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 No 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 no. You can't. Ah, you can't outrange me. Can't outrange me. Can't outrange me. Can't outrange me. Bang and now just draw their attention and do not take out my boating heart. Bang. Okay, that was only four. So yeah, it's actually quite low for the time being. That gets me a bit of money. 45 of them coming in now. 45. Ooh. Okay. Money to build some, like, you know. But the, the fishing hut's starting to come in. There's already defense set up. There's houses here. I mean... Uh, that's just an archery range. I mean, if I upgrade this, these houses are going to start upgrading themselves, which is good. Like, but I feel like with the tower and with me, I can deal with 45 drops, probably. I'm going to regret this. And we're going for, yeah, Builder's Guild. It's going to give me more health. It's going to make me a bit more survivable. That means I've got no money for anything else. Good luck, basically. Uh, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can flip and do. Bang. That's going to get me some stuff in a hurry. Take you out. At least they're coming in little waves. Coming in little waves, which is good. Uh, this is going to be intriguing. Uh, some of them are coming from me. Tower starts to get a bit overwhelmed. But once they come in range of the, the castle, the castle can do something too. That's good. Get through here. I'm drawing some of them, but they're going to go for the houses, right? Oh, we're going to lose a couple of houses. Whether they can take out the, the castle. The castle's got 300 hit points. Oh, I think I've made it. Claire, I think I may have made a mistake. I think I've underestimated. Claire, I think I've underestimated the, the blob. Yeah, guys, guys, come come, come fight me. Come fight. Okay, we, we definitely underestimated the blobs. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right, pop. You want to go and sleep on your sofa? 
No, no, no. Stay with us. Stay with You're us. Staying bud. with us, Ted. You're not going. Okay. Oh, hello. The bow didn't do desperately well. The bow, but if there's like the 10 million blobs, heavy sword could actually be the option here. Yeah, you... people have been saying heavy sword in chat. Yeah, let's go heavy sword. But I'm gonna stick with the. I'm gonna stick with what we've got. I mean, to be honest, war horse might be hilarious too. Riding over enemies, dearest. Then again, I might be a bit too flimsy myself at that point. Yeah, good shake, buddy. I mean, the castle generating gold. I don't know how much gold that is, to be honest. Uh, no, I'll keep my perks as they are. I'll keep my perks as they are. And this will be... Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's got to... And yeah, f just get just get the boat shed down straight away. Just get that moving in the right direction. It's fine. So, okay. That's there. <laughs> Take you out. Go. 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 Just take you out. Thank you. Everything's fine. Just start getting their attention in. Everything's a okay. No, don't go for my boat shed. Bang. No. Oh, Ted. You're fine, honey buns. Don't worry. You're a bit stressy stressed right now. Yeah, lead, lead, them, into, lead them into the castle. Bang. Lovely. Go. Take you out. Take you out. Take you out. And down you go. Okay, taking a bit of damage, but at least the boat shed starts generating something. For 17 of those guys, do I need... Do I need a tower? I would like a tower. Yes, I'd like a tower. A uh, house as well. Okay. This is, yeah. This is economy management is the thing. And bang. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Heavy sword. Heavy sword does a good job here. Heavy sword does a lovely job here. That that was a good. That was a good. Bang! Oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. Okay, heavy sword sorts those bastards out. Gotcha. Crossbowmen. They're a bit on the dangerous side because they really knack me. Even with my longbow, that was tricky. I'm gonna be honest. I, I I'd like a tower to deal with them, even though this is okay. Then give me another house. I'm a bit low on that, but at least I've got something. Okay, you know what? I'm going to camp them. As soon as the first guy comes in, he's just getting shanked. Yeah, you, you try it. You flip and try it. There we go. Oh, he, wow. Okay, never mind. I, I'm the one that got shanked. It was me that got shanked. Surprise. Plot twist. Okay, that's fine. The, these guys can't deal with... Okay, they can't deal with my towers. That's fine. Bang. There we go. That's fine. Okay, I got some money off their, off their corpses at least. Uh, my fishing boats are going in the right direction. Okay, now this time, with the sword, I can deal with 45 of them. That's okay. So now we can actually start investing in the economy. But yeah, we should invest in the houses around the back. <laughs> uh, definitely. Just just house, house, more house, more house. I could also go for... No, that's four for that. Uh, okay, now we've got some money coming in. Now I've got some money coming in. Okay, so this is the wave that got me last time. <laughs> Just take out all of them, and that's... Oh, blimey, that was a lot of damage, mind. That was a lot of damage, uh, but that's fine. The yeah, health grows back. It grows back. It grows back really fast. That's fine. Bang! That dra It just draws so much attention as well. It draws a huge amount of attention. Bang. 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 And just a second. Come on, come on, come on. Bang! Oh, that just draws so much attention off. Just draws so much attention. And in just a second. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bang! So many dead. So many dead. So many dead. No, you leave that house alone. You leave Tim's house alone. Okay, we didn't lose a single economic building. <sighs> okay, the economy's... Uh, it exists. It's battering rams, I think. Ah. That looks like a battering ram. I don't know what it's trying to batter down to. I don't have any walls, mate. No walls. You've come to the wrong town. Um, Maybe the door of your castle or something. I don't know. Possible. Um, I can just afford to upgrade this, which I'm going to do. Builders Guild, and I'm going to get some troops on the field. Now, while you do that, shout out to Steve, who's been a member for 28 months, uh, and says uh, at just after that uh, just most recent defeat, oof. Reasonable. Good. Oof. Yeah. Good response. Uh, but we've also got a message from Jay Rester, who gave us $50. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, and this one came in after you won the desert. Nice. Uh, and says, this was awesome. I hope you all have a great day uh, or night. 
I, I hope so too, though I'm not fancying my chances in the snow. The snow does appear to be a bit vicious. Okay, I don't know precisely what this is, but we've got, like, you know, some archers to protect us. So they can just basically be here. I'm just going to basically lead these guys into archer and tower range. If we can, yeah, just take it out, whatever this is. Go for it. Take you out, draw your attention away. I don't know precisely what's going on, but I'm sure it's all going to be fine. And take you out. Go on, guys. Bang. I think it's just an anti-building thing that's going for my... Oh, yeah, just battering down my flipping... Battering so down... it's a battering ram, it is which a battering is an anti-building thing. Yeah. Let's see if I can draw... And, but it can never be distracted, unlike some of them. There's no distraction for it. Go. Yeah, the heavy sword is doing the work here. The heavy sword is really doing the work. There we go. Nice. Didn't even lose the tower. And we've got, we got a fair bit of money off enemy drops. We're actually we're really dependent on enemy drops right now. Because what else do we have? Um, okay. That's 16, which is good. We've got flyers coming in. That's honestly not that bad. Nine flies when I've already got archers on the field. Uh, means today is an economy day. Because seriously, like, that's fine. You guys can just stay here. And you've got a tower to help you out. And that's a, that's a reinforce. That's a super tower already so okay we've now finally got the ability to focus on some economy now this would be upgrade from all boats in this harbor is doubled wow five to ten yep done so that's now generating ten a turn and while we're safe here get another one down let's let's get another one of them down now we've also got yeah we can have some towers to defend that we've already got the towers and we've got the archers Honestly, I'm pretty happy at this point too. Yeah, with six, there is, there's a blacksmith, <laughs> there's a normal barracks, there's houses, houses, just build houses, just just. Build uh, houses. Folks in chat are talking about the battering ram making that nice uh, bonk sound. <laughs> very. Uh, Did it now? Excellent. Very pleasant. Um, I'm indeed. Really indeed, hoping indeed. four archers and a, ta and a super tower can deal with uh, these this many flyers. Honestly, that looks like they've got it to me. Like these aren't these guys aren't swarming in. Like I, okay, that's fine. Clap while well, we just mop up tonight, then. Yeah, shout out to Alana who's been a member for 14 months, uh, and they say I love Ted. Good job, Teddy. You're your bestest boy. Oh yes, you are. Uh, also, how are you both, and how is Ted? He's doing his best under stressful circumstances, well, he's clearly. Now, he's now more asleep, so he's that's He's now chilling good. out. Yes. Okay, we've now got seven crossbowmen and battering ram, and seven crossbowmen and battering ram coming from below. I'm assuming they're going to try and make it to... Yeah, this is going to threaten my fishing industry. Which is a problem because I have a no way of building walls yet. Are there no walls? Do walls not exist? Oh, there might be no walls. That could be a problem. Which makes it more interesting that the enemies brought battering rams. They're going to be very disappointed when there's like no walls to batter down. Like you know, battering rams traditionally for gates and whatnot, but maybe not. Wait, uh, what was that? Under? There's no. Oh, there's, there's a mine. There is a mine there, but that's not a good turn to activate that mine. Yeah, fair that, enough. That mine's, that mine's in trouble. Um, that's another archery range. Now, okay, how do I counter the crossbowmen in that case? Like, do I rush them with spearmen? Or outrange? No, they work. Chat, what's the best way for me to deal with crossbow? Because I can't. They'll tell me, they'll, they'll absolutely tear me apart. Uh, so, oh, that's a good point. Someone just pointed out I have, I have the stronger walls perk on the map where there's no walls. But it also affects towers, so it's going to be fine. And there is something down here, you're right. That's just a tower. I mean, it could be useful for pulling these guys off, I suppose. Actually, you know what? Towers do a really good job at dealing with crossbowmen. So, I feel like if I just built some towers in a good position, especially protected on this here high ground, I think we'll be okay. Like, this is a good position. This is a good position. I think, yeah, against this many crossbowmen, I'm just going to spam a bunch of little basic towers. Like, I think, yeah, two and two for dealing with seven should deal with them pretty nicely. Because those are like super arcane towers, which I'm pretty happy with. I could build more barracks, which would be fine. 
Uh, is there a chance to build? Yeah, even flipping more. And yeah, don't bother upgrading those till they've already got all the boats out. Once they've got all the boats out, then do that. Uh, so that's fine. And then, I'm going to be honest, I'm just curious what the... What are you? You're just a normal barrack. <laughs> oh, Ted! Ted! You're fine, Ted! Ted, there was nothing! Claire's going to go and, and, and settle Ted. Blacksmith time! Okay, melee attack. 20% melee damage. 20% range damage. 20% melee resistance. 20, 30%, sorry, 30% melee resistance. 30% ranged resistance. I mean, I, I like my archers. I do like my archers. Yeah, you know what? Let's get working on that. So that's going to happen. Over time. Sorry Ted was very loud. We, 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 we can't turn the volume down on Ted, unfortunately. We're, we're not allowed. The vet said that, wasn't it? That the first time was a mistake. We shouldn't do it again. Uh, okay. With no other economy to invent... Unless there's like a mine. Is there any mine down here? There's no mines over here. Okay, houses. It's it's just houses then. We're just going to build a flip ton of... No, not that. That's a, that's a thing. More houses. I would not object, actually, to a second archery range, to be perfectly honest. Uh, if there is another archery range, I wouldn't object to that. Uh, that is... That's normal barracks. I wouldn't say no to an archery range. That's that's also barracks. Okay, fine. Well, you know what? This one's well out of the way, which is fine. Knights, spearmen, or flails. I mean, the spearmen are fast, but like... Ah, you know what? They do, do extra damage and they slow them down. But it's fast enemies, not big enemies. That doesn't mean they're good against the, the things. Well armored against ranged attacks. Ted, Ted, Ted you're fine. That's okay. Oh. Maybe he could have some lamy cubes. I think you'd get him a little treat. Chad, do you think Ted deserves some lamy cubes? His favourite little snack. I think oh, Ted I'm can have that. Sunch. I'm just not sure what Chad's gonna say, Teddy. Mm -hmm. Chad's saying no, don't give Ted anything. No, he's a bad dog, doesn't deserve it. Box too much, no treats for Ted. Hashtag no treats for Ted. It's vicious down here, Claire. It's, an abs it's, it's absolutely nightmarish. It, it's awful. Like, there's, there's just, just, it's, wow, there's some really rude things being said about Ted here, Claire. I'm going to give Flails a go. Let's see how Flails do. Let's, let's give him a go here. Give him a go. All right. Overruled! <laughs> All right, buddies. You Sit. are, good boy. go right here, my little Flaily boys. We're just going to basically camp them. Oh, there's another archery range. I knew there was another one somewhere. It's there. Okay. So we're just going to try and swarm these guys as they come in. There we go. Just swarm these guys as they come in. And just take them out. Lovely. The Okay, so the, uh, they, they were torn apart by that. But my bowman, a bowman, fall back, fall back, bowman, fall, fall back, bowman. This is fine. My tower should be able to take out all of this. And take you out. Okay, now we just need to take out this guy. What's going on up top, by the way? Okay, these guys are going to take 10 million years to get up to us. So we don't need to worry about them. And just take out them. The battering rams are so tanky. They're so tanky. They're insanely tanky. But now the battering ram is just kind of stuck doing nothing. Okay, this wave wasn't so bad. It was okay. Hey, Ted, you're a good boy. You're stretching out a little bit. Maybe after this run, we'll wrap up after with the not longest stream start. Because Ted seems a little bit stressed out tonight. So after we're done with this run, we might just let Ted have a little break and also a big cuddle with us on the sofa. Ted seems to be a little stressed tonight. Well, I've also been making him find the treats. You know that go oh, find a game. Oh, the find a game, yeah. We learned at uh, yeah. dog training. Okay, so we got loads coming in from this direction. That is at 30. Are those different bigger blobs? Because I feel like those are different bigger blobs. But the flail should be able to do something to them. I do have 30 on this occasion. I'm kind of wondering if maybe I'll like... Maybe I'll unlock... Like, you know... There's, that's only 20, actually. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's see what this unlocks. Let's see what this unlocks. And... Yeah, give me way more everything. Just make me tougher. 
Is there any chance of... Now we've got walls! Okay, I was hoping to see walls. Good. Good, good, good. We've actually got walls now. So, okay. That's excellent. Unfortunately, the walls are outside. And it's another 10 to that. So, okay. You guys are... Your job is just to, yeah, camp on whatever these are. Good luck. Okay, I was really hoping we had walls. Because otherwise, <laughs> it's going to be tricky. Uh, okay. I would like two more towers in a perfect world. Just to help deal with all them. I'm going to have you. I'm going to have you. I'm going to have all of my archers, obviously, right over here. So, you guys. Teddy is enjoying his treats. FYI. Uh, we finished the packet. I need to order him more treats. Ha no treats for John is, is the response to my <laughs> Ted slander. I don't get treats anymore. Ted, please don't lick my water bottle. Don't lick Claire's water bottle. After you've... Oh. <laughs> I'm going to go rinse that real quick. Brilliant. He's just eaten a bunch of treats. Yeah, delicious lamby treats. Yeah, I know, but... I oh, wow. Okay, so those guys got absolutely slaughtered. My poor flails. My poor flipping flails. Oh, no. Bang. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. Okay, that's just one fishing thing. That's just one fishing thing. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Take you out. Take you out. Ah. Bang! Oh, that draws a lot of attention. That draws a dumb amount of attention. Get in there with my big ass sword. Big ass sword. Big ass sword. Ah, bang! Okay, that drew a lot of attention off too. We do have some good stuff coming in. And bang! 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 I've almost got my big attack. Oh, that's powerful against the blobs. Okay, those are bigger blobs. Those were definitely bigger, scarier blobs. Hello, Ted. Oh, have you got a toy? Put it around his head in case he wants to abuse himself. There we go. Flyers coming in from every direction. Flyers coming in from everywhere. And we do actually have the ability to... Oh, what the cock? This is weird. There's just We could just have a tiny isolated area here. Which I'm not sure what it does, to be honest. It's just nothing but... I mean, I guess it's just a secondary base that they have to get through. Yeah, I guess. Well, you have walls now. Yeah, level it was level 3 just to have basic mm. walls, but I can't upgrade them immediately to stone. It's just it needs to be level 3 before that was uh, even a thing. Okay. We can have more flyers and I feel like we should probably upgrade our archery range. Uh yeah, with those with that many guys coming in, archery range is fine. Uh, what needs protection? That's 12 over here. Yeah, you know what? You guys stay here. We're going to lose... We're going to lose this this uh, boat thing, but that's fine. There's not much we can do about that. You've got plenty of tower coverage. You guys... That's 7 and 7. You guys just stay here. No need to rush walls on this occasion. Uh, there is... Eve, there could be even more archery. On this occasion, uh, we could upgrade you. Should we instead focus on economy? Economy in this bit of the world is weak. I feel like this is bare minimum. We can get a bit of economy down. That's barracks. You know what? While the flies are coming in, let's get more archers out. That's It's four coins for archers. And I am um, with the basic flyers. The longbows do fine work. So literally, you guys just hang out right here. Yeah, I'll and folks that. were saying in chat, um, yeah, that wall down bottom, you can shelter four, um, four towers um, behind it. Yeah. So a lot of automatic fire, basically. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. I mean, basic wooden towers will do the job pretty effectively against just a handful of flyers. I mean, I could, for the sake of just protecting as best we can, just have one or two. I mean, that's five. Uh, also, just so you know, Ted is right behind your chair again. Okay, as usual. Yeah, as as usual. is traditional at this point. Oh, uh, there's another pier. Uh, where are you at? Uh, I'm not sure. Are you sure? Well, somebody said that in chat, but I'm... I'm not seeing it. Uh, but, but, but I mean, like, you could upgrade the existing pier. This one's up. This one's doing pretty well right now. Oh, yeah, you, I see. I'm willing to get that up to, yeah, the next level. That's a big increase. Have some houses here. I think these houses are pretty safe at the moment. And then, yeah, just more houses. Uh, the economy's finally taking off. We've finally got some basic walls here. I can't do anything to flies at all. 
Uh, so just keep an eye on them, but they're being, they should be squished pretty easily. Like, the problem is, I suspect we're going to lose this, this pier over here. There's just not much we can do about it, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's gonna go down. There's, there's nothing we can do about that. That one was, that one was not making, we've never invested heavily in that one. It's not making the money, to be honest. Um, you're going down, you're going down, you're going down. This is all fine. Looks like that side's already been taken out, and there's plenty of money from the enemy. Yeah, the economy, with the exception of that one, the economy's finally taking off wow, here. Wow, that's pretty nice. Uh, this is, okay, one big push coming from that direction. Which probably just means it might be time to just, yeah, they're going to be coming up this well, way. Well, it might be time to build the tower that's inside of a bunch of walls. Well, they're not going to go that way, are they? They're going to be pulled. Well, but won't they be pulled towards that if it fires at them? Theoretically, yes, but like I'd rather, but there's, I'd rather have them pulled in this direction when there's already two towers where we could well, easily do true. some upgrades. Uh, once again, I haven't got the gold mine down yet, lol. Um, okay, if there's that much coming in from this direction, obviously, we definitely want both of these towers to be operating at full capacity. Are you an extra? Yes, you are. It's a fair whack of money, but I think and it's worth it. That dot underneath the um, the gate is that also that's a tower thinking about it maybe i should have made that into no because there's so many crossbows oil probably wouldn't have made the most sense here but you know what i'll have this as a basic tower if for no other reason than yeah, yeah hold them there it'll hold them there i'm one gold shy of being able unfortunately to yeah, oh, upgrade boo. to upgrade to a level three tower but bear in mind we've got plenty we can throw at them and that's all that's coming today i feel like i've got a decent solid number of troops here so you guys all just come with me. Uh, just pop around here and more archers too. If I can just have the... Is there any way to like make them separate like Pikmin colours or anything? Like, because now, now how do I... It's very difficult to like say, okay, I want the archers to follow me. The archers, I think... There's a flail. There we go. I think those are the archers. So that's there might be a flail in there, but that's fine. He could be there for moral support. You guys get over to here. Congratulations. That's where you live now. You're gonna do some beautiful work up there. And the flails are just going to be at the front door, keeping them busy. So you guys just be there. I know you're gonna go outside in a second. To, you know what? For five gold, you can be stone. Let's just reinforce you a little bit. That's gonna be a lot of fire raining down on these bastards. Everything else, I think we can afford. Ah, uh, yeah, you need to separate them before selecting. Lol. Oh, you need to do that anyway. Sometimes, though, when the buildings are close by together, they just do that. Uh, and People do want you to keep updating the blacksmith. But... You... That, I can just afford it. Yep, sure, we just got that. So, even more range damage or resistance, too. Yeah, you know what? Let's. I've got plenty of archers. Do it. Let's get even more of that, and that's all I can afford to do. So, okay, this is going to be one a hell of a push by these guys. And, and yes, uh, Aunt, uh, Aunt Dry White points out in chat that uh, maybe the Pikmin colors is something they could improve later in development, as we know this is early access. That's true, yes, that's true. Fair. Right, sort you out. Sort all of you out there. The flails are doing good work against the crowds. Uh, archers laying down a flip ton of fire. There are a lot of berserkers, but berserkers are going to struggle to get through even stone things, and there's a lot of fire coming down, and that tower's doing precisely what I wanted it to do. Uh, just watch out for the crossbowmen, because yeah, they don't need like line of sight or anything, they're very happy to just do this. This is going to keep them busy for a while. Bang! And bang! Oh, do you see that sick fell? I did as well. That, that was, was nice. Fun. Just wait for it to come back and then we'll do it again. But yeah, it was the right decision to upgrade that to, to yeah. stone. And bang! Oh! Ho, ho. Yeah, you know what? I'll flip and take it. The, the problem is they, they can't get their they can't get their troops into the front. They can't get them to the front. Bang! Oh yeah. And now the flail's coming in. The flail's gonna be able to do way more effectively at this point. The flail's gonna do the flail's actually be taken up by the crossbow before anything happens, aren't they? Bang! Okay, they're almost out of steam. They're going to take out the thing, but they're basically out of troops at this point. And the archers are still firing. In fact, I think there's... They've basically... They've successfully taken down the wall, but there's nothing left. 
There's nothing left to, to, to actually and take out. And we don't care about the wall being taken down during the night, because it's exactly. not like a... Exactly. It doesn't cost any money. I mean, you know, you lose Boom. a few bits of XP, but... Like... And the fishing boats are... The fishing economy is huge. The fishing nice. economy is huge right now. Right. I just need to figure out... Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, Ted. 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 You go have a little cuddle with him for a sec. Ted's being very stressed out for some reason. Bye. Ted's being very stressed out. We don't really know why. Okay. 30 rushing my castle. 30 big blobs. 30... That's flyers. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, in that case, stone to try and stop them making it to me. In which case, yeah, I'll definitely put 10 into making these reinforced. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. They're definitely going to be coming from the south exclusively. And just keep an eye on the night, because I, I always forget to check what night it is. And then that, that always goes a bit wrong. So, you get over to here. You're the other archers, right? Okay, fine. Every, everyone in the huddle. Everyone in the huddle. I'm sure you're all going to do just fine. Uh, everything's going to be fine. Just put... All of you here, just, just have fun. Figure it out as you go. But yeah, I do agree. This for only five, and then three, three, and three. This is cheap, effective distraction. That's what this is. And then ten to make that stone. I mean, if nothing else, it's just going to keep a lot of stuff busy. I mean, it's not going to work against the um the stone lads though. The stone lads, uh, the uh, the cat, the castle hunting lads. It's not going to work against them at all. But that's fine. All of you guys just basically, yeah, stay, stay right here. Right here. You've all got this. You're going to be all right. Then one, two, three. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll just have basic towers out here. Basic towers out here. These are, these are basically just attention drawers. They're not designed to kill. They're going to let the other towers do the killing. And then I'm going to build more houses, more houses, more population. Okay. This is going to work. This is going to be fine. I'm going to hide in here just to see what happens next. And bare minimum, this is... I mean, yeah, we're taking out a lot of the, the, the big, you know, I'm going to hunt you down killers before they even make it to the walls, which is good. And all of the blobs are being distracted. Good. This is this is precisely what I wanted to say. This is precisely what I wanted to see. And they're now going to crowd here. And this is honestly fine. As soon as they're all wet off... In a second, there we go. That works pretty well. There are oh, there's flyers. I, 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 I. You know what? I kind of knew that, but like I also kind of forgot it somehow or another. And why on earth did you guys not? Right, take out all of you. Let's just draw some attention away, just to make sure the stress is off. You guys doing okay? You guys? Oh, blow! What died over there? Don't know what that was, but something died over there. Okay, guys, here and dead. Okay. Okay, I think some flyers got a handful of... Some flyers got a handful. But as long as the fishing economy stays in place, this is... Okay, everything's fine. That's just 30 troops, which means my flails can deal with it. Speaking of which, uh, I would not object to more flails. Because anything that comes from the south, honestly, I feel like sufficient archers can deal... Oh, 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 hang on, is this... This isn't going to be... No, this can't be final night. This can't be final night, right? I thought it was 13 nights in this one. How many nights am I on? Chat, chat, how many nights am I on before I decide what decisions to make? <laughs> I'm going to let chat do that. Claire! Uh, sorry, I am down on the floor again, cuddling Ted to make sure uh, that he is all right. Uh, and shout out to Adam, who uh, says, Happy Thursday. Uh, I just opened the stream and Ted farted. It's a good thing he's <laughs> adorable. Have fun, be nice to Claire, and please pet Ted for me. And he gave us five Canadian dollars, and I'm petting Ted right now. Can Adam. confirm, Ted petting it is occurring. Yeah, he's having a bit of a night poor thing. I think he's just being bothered by, like, the itching. Oh, Ted. Uh, folks are saying not, uh, not final. It's the penultimate. This is 12, 12 of 13. 13. Yeah. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay, you guys can just sit over here. Honestly, if these are just the basic lads, you guys just ambush them. The flails can ambush them as you come in. There is... Oh, there's more coming from this direction, though. 
But that, to my mind, strikes me as... I Yeah, blobs I can deal with. And you guys, only 20 of you. <laughs> okay, what else do we have up here? We could have... Uh, that's more... That's more of you. That would be even more archers. Uh, right, yeah, that would be even more archers. That would be even more flails. Flails would work well against some of these guys. Yeah, you know what? Flails would work okay against you kind of lads. Just like, start a little bit further back. And then, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's just get some good stuff going on here. If you guys would like to cluster around this, then again, that might be good for tonight. But is it really going to be useful going forward? Question mark. Um... I don't know, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to make you better, because you might be able to pull some of these guys over. And that's a, that's a 15 now. You know what? You, I might be willing to do it for, because like something's going to be coming in this direction. And it's just a, this is a really good distraction one. Yeah, you know what? Congratulations, you're hot oil. That's fine. I'm going to be over here, because I feel like I might be needed to assist with these guys and yeah there we go yeah just look at that that's nice that's beautiful the towers can deal with that really easily just oh yeah getting the murder and getting the murder and the flails are backing off they don't know what they want to do those are the meat hunters but yeah against the towers they're in trouble and that i was a terrible time for me to use my ability that was the exact moment i shouldn't have used my ability but in come the flails in come the flails and the flails can do excellent work and i've kind of got like a sort of flail as well okay and just leave these guys around in a circle. Leave them around in a circle. These towers are going to take time. Sort that out. That just softens that up so, so much. And the flails are doing... Okay, the flails have got this. The flails have got this. I'm just going to make sure these guys go down. Which shouldn't be too difficult to do. Watch out for the me hunters. Stay away from them. Honestly, let's have a break here. Okay. This side appears to be under control. The archers have taken care of that side. Something alive is out there. Does anyone know what's what's actually alive out there? Oh, it's just these guys got distracted. Yes, this this was a massive, just the exact distraction I wanted it to be. That's precisely what I wanted to happen. Like, they, this is doing nothing, but it's pulled them off. It's just a giant distraction. So, all right, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Need to go and deal with this. That's absolutely fine. These guys are now doing nothing of note. Uh, guys, can you guys come and, come and, guys, guys, come, come down and serve your king. Come and serve your king. Everybody down bottom, serve your king. All right, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Round two here. You're just taking care of that. You get two here. And I can just take you guys out with my... Even my upgraded sword isn't doing that much, to be honest. You guys take out the... Wow, you know what? The flails are doing surprisingly effectively against the barbarians there. They are... Wow, when those guys get going... They are vicious bastards. I like those flails. Those are good. Right, that'll be the last of it. And now this is the final night, isn't it? And what do we have coming in? Let's just check here. Uh-oh. Claire? Oh, is that a kraken or something? Uh, oh, okay, no. Sorry, Jen, but I need to see this. Oh, no. Oh, Claire, it was going so well. And now something is coming. One thing is coming. Oh, Lordy, coming. Oh, oh dear. Um... There's the surprise. Lol. I mean, whatever it is, logically, yeah, just a huge number of long-range ballistas might do something. Oh, wow, 70 monies. Yeah, I've got 70 monies. So I mean, I it doesn't matter if the Kraken or whatever it ends up being eats all your boats, given that. Yeah, the boats are irrelevant. Okay. Is that messy? Okay, this is fine. Everything's under control. We just need to lay down some fire on whatever the cock it is. I mean, step one, Lol. let's have every tower that's anywhere near the thing be at least basic stone. At least basic stone. All right, that's that's important. Like, this could also be a spawner, of course. It could, like, just because it's one doesn't mean it's going to stay one. 
This is true. So you can have that. You can have that. You can have that. Let's just have this this lovely distraction box be a distraction box. Everything's going to be fine. And I feel but like But it does feel like ballistas would be. I'm just gonna put walls here just in case. I just feel like I want walls there. And yes, I wouldn't mind having one ballista nice in here tucked away in the town. One nice ballista tucked away in the town. Lovely ballista. And then you can afford another one. I can afford one more, yeah. Maybe from the other side. Maybe you're here. This one's nice and safe. This one's nice. protected by loads of other towers. That feels like a good place for a blister. So yeah. we've got two blisters firing him. And then I've got eight more. Eight more monies. Uh, that could be an upgrade for one basic barracks if whatever this thing is can even be hit by troops. I mean, I do have a plus tw another plus 20%, which is good. Um... What else do I have that I could upgrade? It could just be basic a basic tower. If there are any basic towers, there is. I can afford one more down here. There we go. Congratulations. You're also there. What the cock is this going to be? I have... I'm going to be really sad if it's not a Kraken, to be honest. I don't know what it... Maybe it's a giant submarine. All right, let's find out. It's possibly a Kraken? Question mark? My alert? It's, I don't know. It's coming ashore. We're hitting it with a lot of stuff. Oh, it is a spawner. You were right. It is, but we can keep control of it for the time being. And a lot of damage has been done. I assume it's got that each of these, uh, each of those health bars is <laughs> one blob. I think we've driven, okay. It gets driven back by a blob. It gets driven black. Now it's going over there. Uh, honestly, these troops can handle that. So don't worry about that. Let's go and figure out what's going on over on this side at the moment. So, okay. Oh, nice. I'm just going to hit it. Um, that hit works really well with that particular tower right there. Yeah, that tower's working fine. Yeah, that, that oil tower's got this. Bang. Okay, good. We've got it down. It's coming in. The arcs are just going around. Where are you going? He's come back over here. There's plenty of stuff going on over here. And my flails have got this. Bang. Okay, we've got some stuff here. He's almost gone. Is he definitely losing a blob every time his health meter runs out? Not sure. Yes, that, that was definitely one less blob right there. Bang. I think he does, but they get re-centered. So yeah, it's hard, it's harder to say. Bang. Bang. Bang, okay. But he seems like over there. He's sticking on the south. Right now he's sticking on the good, south. Uh... Yeah. Bang. Whoa. Yeah, the the honestly, though it's complete coincidence, this oil tower is it's saving my ass at the moment. This oil tower is absolutely bang! Yeah, you know what? The oil tower is absolutely annihilating it. Now he's just gonna go back up here. At some point well, he's I gonna suppose, go north. Yeah, if Oh, he's going closer. He's getting close to the towers now. And now there are no troops here to defend. But there are plenty of towers here. He's going to be driven back pretty fast. This is oh. this is holding for now. And the the ballista tower yeah. did some really good damage. The ballista tower does incredible damage. But as he's getting weaker, he's pulling further and further north. Which is but meaning... Now it's in range of that other now he's in, tower. Yeah, he's close. He's getting closer and closer. I think the ballista tower pretty much can hit anything. The ballista tower is in the same range. But I think... Like, I don't want to jinx it. But I feel like we're we're holding it here. Sort that out a little bit. Oh, he's going. Now he's right in the center of town. Now he is right in the center of town, and he is spawning the. Oh, but this. I think, is he now? No. He's, yeah, he's now in. Uh, he is. Uh, the problem in range is. Range of both towers. He's the problem is he's spawning the go straight for the castle buildings in the town center, which is a problem. Uh, we've got to stop him being here. He can't be here. That's not acceptable. Uh, we've got to keep troops just in the center of town, just guarding that, and uh, don't I mean, not here. Piss off! Piss off! Piss off! Go there! Go! Oh, wow. Yeah, good boy! Good boy! Okay, getting over here. Just do some damage there. There's plenty more archers coming in. The economy's in shambles, but there's probably one more beyond that. That when you when that blizz hits, yeah, this is the last one. He's and probably coming here. Go center, he's probably surely. he's got to be coming here surely. He's got to be coming here. Yeah, it, go. yeah, okay, this is fine. Get every, get all the, get the, get the, get the, you guys. I need you guys here. I need you guys here. Bang. Take him out. Just take him out, 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 take him out. He's almost, he's almost, he's dead, but we just have to take out all of his friends. 
I think we've got him. He's done. We just finish off his friends. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, that was holy. an amazing boss, though. That was cool. That was an amazing boss. Yeah. That. Thank goodness for the ballista, says Chan. And that oh, that oil pot in the bottom that left was, was really saved fun. me so much. Blimey. So that's we now got the Falcon God. Enemies are Ooh. faster. That one's vicious. Oh, yeah. Speed is a problem. Magic armor. New upgrade path for your level 3 castle center. Magic armor gives you massive amounts of health. Enemies take damage when attacking you. Okay, so like a reflection spell on them. Love nice. it. GG, <laughs> John. That guy slaughtered me. Yeah. GG, impressive. I wasn't expecting a win this fast. I mean, there wasn't. There was that no boss. mutator. There was no mutator in play. This is this is literally like that. So that boss was really cool. Good strategy. Now, as I understand it, those are the only maps for now because this is early access. Well, and obviously, yeah. it's not just about these maps. It's about getting the objectives because that was on basic. Then you have to do this. <laughs> Like, the game's also like, hey, now you have to do it with the bow, and also the enemies are, like, whatever bees are, and also they have to be tougher. So, like, you know, that's the real, that's the real challenge. Like, maybe can you do bees that? bees are, like, damage over time. Like now, I'm wondering if maybe there is something about more buildings. Look, it's one out of six, and there's only two houses here. Yeah. Like, maybe there is, and I just didn't but, see that it was a bit more crowded when it went from three to four. But maybe it's like when it goes from yeah. like one, from like two to three, and then when he goes from four to five yes. or something like that, you know? Yes. Uh, but in any case, shout out to Megascrow, who says, uh, good evening, Ted, Claire, chat, and egg carton, egg carton even. Uh, good some, job. Some time ago, I mentioned looking for volunteer work. Several attempts later, the search sadly continues, but I'm feeling all right, and I'm not giving up hope. Good. Do we know what sector, or is that not? No. That's it absolutely fit fine. In this if you one, want though. to share, please do. But obviously, do not feel you need to, you know, expose more about your personal life than you wish to. No one has more sympathy for that than uh, YouTubers, I'm sure. But uh, if you want, if you oh. want to share, do let us know. Axel Fax says, I'm glad Ted was there to save you from that beast. Maybe the barking scared it off, and that's why yes, it wasn't indeed, as bad as it would have indeed, been. Indeed. Ted's big scary. Like, Ted's a cutie pie. Like, people, have, you probably you must have sent photos of Ted. There are photos of Ted or, like, you know, on Twitter and Patreon all over the shop. But, like, if, if, like, he looks cute, but he's got quite a big booming bark on him when he wants to. He's quite a good guard dog. Yes. He's got he's a good little booming good bark, that. bless him. Claire. Uh, yes. Indeed. Sorry. Uh, shout out to Thomas who uh, gave us twenty dollars and says I can't stay, but I wanted to say thank you for all you and Claire do. I'm graduating with my masters in social work tomorrow, and your videos have kept me sane throughout all my years in university. Give Ted a pet for me. Congratulations on being significantly more educated than me. I have an undergraduate degree, and that's it. And uh, also, uh, congrats and thank you for doing social work. That's awesome. Damn straight. Indeed. Not the bees, Joan Bees. Lol. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the final game didn't add a randomizer mark. I mode. agree. Yeah, I would. I mean, it, it comes with the issue that, you know, you might get incredibly imbalanced or you might end up with a very, e like, disappointingly anticlimactically easy final night. Like, if you just happen to draw things like the reason it, it, the reason it's like you know properly curated and is because like it's properly paced and suits the economy like you know on desert and snow in particular like if you just got unlucky draws it's possible you could just be screwed over and it wouldn't really be your fault but yeah i can see the sense in like either randomizer yeah randomizers uh for for each day potentially that might be that might be interesting i mean bare minimum i think it yeah would make an interesting like option and like how, maybe it wouldn't surprise me. Because, you know, this, this game is, you know, this game is, is uh, you know, it, it's a little indie game. It wouldn't surprise me if the devs at some point are aware of this. Uh, see, aware of our I know they're aware of the video. If they're aware of this live stream too. So, like, you know, ideas may well reach the, the ears of the people who can make it happen. And I agree. I think, yeah, a randomizer. Maybe after you've beaten the level for the first time is an option. An optional thing. I'm not sure whether it would... In like, I think it, like, you have to be excluding score. Like, you, you wouldn't be allowed to score in a randomizer. Because yeah. otherwise, uh, you might just get lucky or unlucky. And, like, you know, it could be worth more or less points. I think uh, you'd have to say, if I turn on randomizer mode, I accept I'm not taking part in the score chasing. You can't earn achievements under randomizer mode. That, I think, is fair. But I think it would be a nice extra to have, yes. Clap. 
Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Whiskey Informant who gave us 20 Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says, hey, John and Claire, I just wanted to send a small thank you from Canada. I've been watching your videos forever and I find them extremely comforting when I'm sleeping as well as entertaining when I just feel like watching. Oh, excellent. That's very wholesome. I like wholesome messages. Yes. Uh, He's just taking his paw. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I know we are quite a bit behind on Super Chat compared to normal, but like with uh, with Ted Poor being little a little Ted. bit And this was a little bit more frantic than I thought it was going to be. I think I was saying to Claire, oh, this one's going to be nice and manageable. Because, you know, I'm talking frantically during the night. But during the day, there'll be plenty of time for you to... Yeah, that didn't turn out to be true. Sorry. Lol. <laughs> Is it, uh, who's shocked, everybody? Uh -huh. Anyway, shout out to uh, Jan, who's been a member for 36 months. Uh, and uh, says, I hope you both had a nice holiday. Last month has been an emotional roller coaster for me. Devastating news last Thursday. But thank you for being a good egg. Oh, excellent. Well, we're sorry, sorry to, to hear, hear that. that. I uh, hope it wasn't. I hope it's something that can hopefully can sort itself out. Yes. Uh, and uh, hope you have uh, lots of uh, people around you to help you through that. Yes. Um, and let's see. Um, hey, it's your favorite from Hugo who gave us uh, five dollars. A flip, Mary kill. Oh dear. Subnautica dredge, Dave the diver. Uh, Subnautica dredge, Dave the diver. Oh, that's interesting. I think probably Mary Subnautica. I think Subnautica is a really, really good, well put together game. Ah, oh, but then that puts me in a really difficult position. Like, Dave the Diver and Dredge are both really good. I think I'd have to kill Dredge and I feel really bad about it because it's a really good game. Those are all amazing games, actually. Those that we, we, we you know, that, that that's a good selection of games about creepy fish. Yeah, shout out to Maylee, who, uh, or Miley, who has been a member for 13 months and says hi, John and Claire. Hi, Miley. Hi, Miley, indeed. Uh, Jay Rester has been a member for two months and says, I'll definitely be picking this one up. Uh, keep up the good work. Uh, I like this one. I've paid for this one myself as well. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see. I feel like marrying Dave the Diver makes sense for John, says Molly. That's what I would have said to Uber. Lol. Um... Let's I'm just going to see if I can actually clear out, like, literally all of them. Because if I don't use the bow on the first level, and I do just turn on Snake, which is not so bad, then yeah. I then that will be okay. And I'm going to also turn on Warhorse so I can ride over my enemies that does sound to hilarious. squish them. And I'm also going to turn on a heavy armor so I've got a very large amount of health. Oh, this is going to be hilarious. Okay. So I'm just going to basically go in and squish everybody. That's my plan. I'm going to go in and squish everyone on that first level, which is <laughs> manageable. <laughs> Marry Subnautica despite the Reaper Leviathan and teleporting squid. Correct. I know. It's probably a mistake, but what can you do? Uh -huh. B Point Show gave us uh, 25 Romanian uh, Leo and uh, said... Lol! 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 <laughs> And says, hi, John, Claire, and Ted. And finally, I can catch a stream live. Uh, John, if when you finish XCOM, it coincides with Total War Pharaoh uh, release, will we get a Total War series? Pharaoh's really interesting to me. I, I need to learn more about the campaign first. Like, I, I can't deny, I was a tiny bit underwhelmed when I heard about it. Because I was thinking, like, oh, we literally had Troy. And okay, fine, Troy's mythological and Pharaoh's not. But like, you know... The Bronze Age never has struck me as, like, the most exciting time to set a Total War game. To be perfectly honest with you, I, 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 there are many uh, time zones I would like to revisit. I'm still I'm still begging for Empire 2 at some point. Come on, we've, we've, we've got to be allowed to have Empire 2 at some point or another. Uh, surely, like, you know, a little Empire 2 just as a treat. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure the nice thing about yes having 10 million points of health and the heavy sword is I can pretty much just I can exclusively um, I can exclusively economy because I can just I can just beat these guys, uh, which is also, hilarious. Um... Also, when XCOM 2 wraps up, it will probably coincide with Starfield. Yes. Which, you know... Agree, yeah. Uh, you can't... You're not going to be able to keep John away from that. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. That's that's true. Uh, that is a true fact. 
<laughs> dear, oh dear. Uh, okay. Molly's been a member for 21 months uh, and says, What a pleasant stream choice for today. I hope this becomes a regular in the rotation of something quick. Choices like FTL and Vampire Survivor. You know, I, I see the sense of that. Yes, I do yes. see the sense in something like that. You take care of that. You're going for the towel. You know about and then you're going to die and you're going to die so fun yeah but okay, i really need to unlock that yeah my guy could now basically just just like could just economy everything because he could just win by himself and uh just fyi obviously the fact we're doing this means uh, screw builders guild royal training more health more attack damage for my no. character though actually okay the assassin if i know let's let's get for the health as well royal training this is hilarious okay so now we can take care of that, and that's good, because I just now don't have enough money to get the knights out on the field tonight. <laughs> Lol, okay, well that's fine. You guys can take care of that. You can take care of that. Let's just get some... I'll, I'll go take care of the archers. It's going to be fine. So if these guys come in now, this is going to be fine. Oh yeah, two, two, two odd swings and we're done. Two odd swings. They can't do anything to me! Yes! Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Mooing Bastard, who's been a member for 14 months and says, Catapult! Damn straight. They are very fun in this game, indeed. Uh, let's see. Ooh, uh, here's an interesting one from uh, Yorka, who gave us uh, five euros and says, Hey there, John. Uh, what do you think about a, a Deus X series? Is there any chance you're going to play original Deus Ex or Human Revolution on the channel? Uh, there is original Deus Ex if you search for it. I think it was the, like, 100,000 special or something. It's out there. Uh, you can find me playing the original Deus Ex. Uh, I also did a few episodes on Mankind Divided? The one that was the, the follow-up to Human Revolution. Was it Mankind Divided? I'm not sure. I think it was Mankind Divided. Uh, I did a few episodes on that. Um, a human Revolution. I'm thinking at some point that might make a fun option to like add it to Democracy Week. I think the next time Democracy Week could that could well be a thing that we do at that point. Okay, Daphne Wall, because like you know the Go Straight for you guys are now here. So at this point, definitely we would like archers, obviously. So and obviously we'll be going for. Actually, in all fairness, if the biggest threat is let's try the hunters out. If the biggest threat really is the bugs breaking in. We'll just do that. So you guys can just stay right here. That's absolutely fine. Then I've still got enough money to, like, you know, set up some uh, houses. Though the houses sadly are not upgrading themselves. What can you do? Right. Then we'll just get in over here. Just let them do their own thing. They're going to try and make it to the gate. But, oh, this is, this is so dumb. This is great. Then just let them all crowd up at the gate. There's, oh, wow. The hunters are annihilating the bugs at this point. Oh, that is, that's lovely. That's lovely right there. And now they're going to start crafting in a second. Bang! And then, oh. Lol, lol, So lol. wait, what are those? They're not knights? They're... They're hunters. So they're good against the bugs. Oh, cool. They're, they're effect, super effective against the bugs, which is super good. And what, the big guys as well, did you say against I monsters? I don't know. It said, it said monsters, but I don't know whether the, the big barbarian chaps are just big men or they're monsters, technically. Mm. It's it's hard to say what this game considers and classifies in that regard. True, 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 true. Although I, I mean, I think it, anyway. Um, Motor Rider gave mm -hmm. us twenty Australian dollars and says good morning from Australia. I've got a classics question for John. Oh no! Where does the term Hellenism come from? Uh, simple. It's that the um the not uh, the culture Greek culture. Is Hellas is not a country in the ancient world. Hellas is like a cultural area where people share Hellenic e languages and Hellenic e culture, but didn't mean like a specific nation or anything. And that was just Hellas and Hellenic. Like an, an identity. Yeah, Hellas in, uh, was the was the idea yeah. of a place, and Hellenic was the idea of like a culture and a language. And that it just it just is that it just is that, and that's where Hellas comes from. Uh, today. So, yeah. Hey, Tess. What's up, honey buns? Stop looking at that particular spot, please. I mean, it's hot. What can you do? You can't explain to a dog you can't lick that particular spot. Yeah. Because if you keep doing it, you might need to wear a cone of shame. Yeah, he's going to be put in the cone of shame if he's not careful. 
Ethan, we're going to put a code of shame on him. And it's his own fault. Like, he knows he's not really supposed to do it at this point. He's, like, putting his face... Hiding his face, yeah. No, he's not hiding it. He's just, like... He's just, like, flattening his uh, his chin on the ground to, like, basically stop himself doing it. Baby. He's doing his best. I know. I mean, I would say you can feel the lack of economy from not having done the... The fact of not having done the houses auto grade thing, you definitely feel that hundred percent. Well, yeah, but then if you have to, if you can get away with investing a lot less in, in like military building, then you can spend. How much is it to upgrade a house to level two? Two gold. You should just do a bunch of that now. Yeah, they go the from they generate of, one to two, so it pays it pays for itself in literally two turns. Yeah, because like the advantage of not having the castle doing the upgrades is you can decide to do a lot of them earlier on. Yeah, which like arguably with the castle because it only does one a turn, eh, you know. Yeah, no, 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 but equally you get you get just as much money from a level setting up a new level one house which arguably spreads the risk a bit. And if we're going to upgrade anything, it's going to be the ones at the back because they're safer. <laughs> so, okay, fair enough. That should all be fine. And then, yeah, against flying bugs, hunters should destroy them. Oh, yeah, look at that. Absolute, just absolute nightmare right there. Beautiful. Clap. Uh, yeah, uh, Ted would be the cutest shame cone wearer, though, says uh, Alana. Axel Faxis, um... Dogface has to get a donut of shame and not a cone because he's a stumpy corgi and he's too short. Oh. He's too short for a coat that would be long enough for his head. Oh. That's adorable. Bless him. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, he might have to. He might yeah, have we to might be, have to get him a little yeah. coat of shame, unfortunately. Yeah. The, the vet suggested, like, an inflatable donut of shame, but I think he would just bite through I that I think he'd just, yeah, pop yeah. that. I think that would just get popped. <laughs> yes, Bless indeed. Uh, anyway, shout out to Paul Wilson, who's been a member for 69 months. Uh, very nice indeed. Uh, and uh, says, I'm shocked at how much Fallout content you've revealed uh, in Tale of Two Wasteland, uh, Wastelands even. Uncle Leo has more lines, samurai tale references. My mind is blown. Yeah, there's so much wild stuff hidden in Fallout 3. It, it's mm. kind of, it's, it's, it is, yeah, it's wild. Right, in which case, just more money into houses, given I have to do that myself. But I guess, like, yeah, as you say, the the upside is I'm now, a, I am now mighty next to how I should be. Uh, you guys go take care of that. We'll just take care of this nonsense. Oh, the flails, though. Oh, the flails. Uh, obviously, yes, the hunters for me will be coming in pretty soon. They'll be coming in for me. But I can just go hide behind the wall when that happens. That's all. Cool. Right, where are the hunters coming from, mate? I could have sworn they were supposed to be. So, there we go. I finally decided to uh, show up. That's a-okay. You guys can try and make it through here, so we're just going to hide. So it's it's very... Uh, I think Molly was pointing out earlier, it's a, it's a very um, polite of the enemies to not uh, walk right through the open doors uh, of the castle when uh, you open the doors. Oi, no, leave, like leave, my, leave me alone. Leave, leave my troops. Leave, leave alone. Leave alone. We saved most of it. There we go, and the flails are doing a good job. Oh, yeah. I am a mighty, mighty king. This is a very different way to play the game. I approve it. Uh, okay. Flies coming in from most directions. A handful of barbarians coming in from the south. Should be okay. Clap. Yeah, shout out to Andu, who gave us five pounds and says, uh, I love you guys. I've been working a lot and I just quit because it got too much. You've helped me a lot, so I'm happy I can catch a stream. Uh, and then gave us another £10 and says, I love you guys. Uh, really love you guys. Sorry, I can't afford more. I need to save for rent. Oh, never say that. Any, any, it is, anything is fine. Anything is wonderful. Thank you. And also, like, nothing for us and you being able to pay rent, rent is definitely better than, like, not being able to make rent. Definitely. You know, 100%, like, yeah. I've already said that to to them in chat, but, like... Good. <laughs> Please, everybody, pay your rent before you give us money. <laughs> yes. Uh, Andrew also says, Hello from Hastings and from Totty, my cat, who is 16. Oh, Totty. That's a cute name. That's a really cute name That's for a cat. That's a cute yeah. name. 
Yes, indeed. Right, keep boosting up the economy, and then, yeah, I may as well go ahead and help down with this, because I literally can't help with anything else. So just... We're literally just pushing... The barbarians be like, pushed off the map here. This is marvellous. Just push it back, screw you. Towers should take care of most of this. Yeah, we're in, we're in good shape right now. Bang, lovely. Clap! Yeah, shout out to Giles, who gave us 10 Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says, this is fun, but I'm nostalgic for Oblivion-type content. Those were the days. <laughs> the days. It was like two, three months ago. <laughs> we're not, it's not exactly your granddad walking up the, walking up the hill, uphill both ways to get to school. <laughs> Uh, and Starfield will be around very, very soon indeed, which is obviously a best uh, action RPG thing. Not quite the same. Probably, you know, more actiony and adventury than RPG compared to Oblivion, but still, probably still comparable, hopefully. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, so I'm just amused by, like, yes, the, the, the most recent series but one being those were the days. <laughs> look, it was a fun time. Fair enough. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to, um, I love the username. Oh my god, Becky. Yeah. I'm, I'm probably saying it wrong, but, uh, shout out to, uh, shout out to them. Uh, oh, I'm taking the magic armor. Yeah. Yeah, nice. boy. Oh my god, Becky gave us five dollars, uh, and says, hey, John, Claire, and Ted. Every time Ted barks, my dogs join in to spread the secret message. It's okay, because Ted is your best boy. He's pretty Giving good. pets for me. He is very good. Well, dog. he's had so many pets. I'm going to... I'm going to... He's sleeping right now. I'm going to let him sleep and yeah. not distract him with pets. Because, Bless him. Yeah. He's had a stressy day, it would appear. Yeah, I think he's just a bit itchy. Baby dog. Maybe we need to get him back on some steroids till summer's properly over. Well, the there was a... Um, there was that, like, injection that the vet recommended that's, like, more yeah. targeted than steroids. Cyto, cyto something. Cyto point. Yeah. A lot of people said uh, when we asked about it on Twitter that it had worked for their dog. Yeah. So, and that's what our vet, who uh, took such good care of Tabby, who we really trust, that's what he said. Yeah. So he probably do that. Yeah, we might give that a go if he's eyes start. If, yeah, ah. I think if his eyes start looking pink, that'll be the indication that that's what we need to do. Uh, Giles says, yes, John, that was the joke. Nostalgic about something recent. Maybe okay, good. Good, good, humor. good. No, that's good. That's good. Excellent. <laughs> Lol. Uh, Major West Jensen says, that I'm already re-watching Fallout 4 Survival again, so... That's fine. That was sufficiently long ago. That's okay. <laughs> Holy flip. I can just clap. I can just stand here. I can just stand here and it just works. Really fun. My magic armor just deflects everything. Yeah. Okay, I definitely need to no. play a few more games so I can unlock that. That sounds hilarious. Oh, there's a couple of things. Oh, they took out some of my farms down here. Dicks. Yeah, just try to attack me. It literally just bounces. Into you. It just yeah. bounces back at you. Yeah, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you barbarianing yourself? Why are you barbarianing yourself? Oh, happy days. <laughs> right. Finish up the walls as it's nothing but the coming straight for you guys at the front door. This is all well under control. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Oh, Molly says uh, she rewatches Skyrim every six to nine months. And it must take about six to nine months to get through it all because it's mm -hmm. very cocking long. Uh, shout out to Blake who gave us $10 and says, uh, Hey guys, I mentioned that you two were helping keeping my... Uh, we're helping me keep spirits up during unemployment. I'm still out of work, but I've decided to go get my master's in psychology so that I can help people. Oh, amazing. Love you That's guys. super cool. Yeah, uh, congrats, Blake, and good luck with uh, with the master's. That yeah. sounds really, really amazing. That's super cool. Hang on. Invest in economy first, if there's even any houses left. Uh, we well, need an upgrade, bare minimum, but I think we might be more or less at house cap. Then just straight through here. The hunter should absolutely annihilate these bastards. Go. There we go. We've got some good towers floating around here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The hunter's doing an amazing job, actually. Now, the flails have been annihilated straight away. But if I just... Run it! <laughs> I've got so much health. I don't need to run back out again. I can just basically... Oh, class! Look at my... <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
I don't need troops. Oh, Ted. Ted, it's okay. It's okay, honey, but Ted, hey, hey, listen to us. Ted, come here. Okay. Come here. Come here for a cuddle. Listen to humans. Listen to humans. Mandatory cuddle, young man. You're having it, yep. It's compulsory cuddle time. When Ted gets woofy, it becomes cuddle time. At that point, cuddles become compulsory. Yeah. That better. Oh, thank you for burping at me, puppy. <laughs> Amazing. Good job, Tad. Good job, Good Ted. job, Tad. Okay, 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 okay. We definitely want to have, yeah, bare minimum. We should definitely have uh, stone walls along here in preparation for all of this. To here, and then, yeah, next time we'll have our whole bunch. And that will go from three to eight. But that's only gonna it's only gonna generate five, but it will cost six. So on the penultimate day, it's not worth doing. It's not worth doing in that regard. So, all right, that should be absolutely fine. Uh, I will. Is there anything else I can put money into that I couldn't just do it tomorrow? Yeah, I got nothing else I can do tomorrow. All right, this is fine. Sort you out. Oh, I'm just walking up to the me hunters and just whacking them. That's good. Huh? Oh, oh do, I'm fine. do you need help? I'm fine. Just give me my computer. There we go. There we go. There you go. There's Thank your computer. You. There's your computer. Claire can't see anything. Oh, okay. This is this is right, this is amazing. Uh, okay, hunters, <laughs> you can start here and then just basically navigate wherever you want to go. Just start here. I'm not going to hold you there. You can just basically navigate wherever you wherever you need to be. Uh, Forty two. 42. I would not object to, yeah, more reinforce. I mean, we're low on towers in a way. I will give myself, yeah, one. I will definitely give myself one blister at the rear, just for safety. And I'm going to give myself one oil pot right here. So I think this is going to draw a lot of attention. I think that works really well. Hot oil right there. And then I've got, well, the, the, the front door's a bit flimsy. But we'll figure it out as we go. It's all going to be fine. And then all of you basically just go where you want. It's fine. We're a bit lacking in troops today, but that's fine. Because I am I, I am the army on this occasion. It's fine. And bang! Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, need, don't, don't need no army. I, I am a god king. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Dead and dead. And that's you dead. Okay, the hunters are surely dealing with the flies as they come in. That's fine. Okay. Don't need an army. There's just a me. Because the regeneration of health is really fast. Yeah, the flies are being torn apart by the hunters, which is great. We don't need to... You! Oh, yeah. Just try and attack me. Try and attack me. Try and attack me. You stupid, stupid dicks. I'm just literally walking through the army. This is hilarious. This is the best thing. This is, this is, this is the best book. Oh, yeah, I, I, the hunters are like, oh, I'm going to hunt you down. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with attempting to hunt me down. The, the trebuchets or the catapults, sorry, are not even getting close to the, the, the walls. The, the, the flails are doing amazing work as well. That's absolutely fine. Let's just make sure nothing else is going on. There's clearly something else going on up top. Everything's under control for now. You're... Flyers, so I can't do anything to you. I need the hunters to come to help out with that. But there are some good long-range towers here. And then, yeah, we've lost a tiny bit of, uh, tiny bit of economy. But that's all absolutely fine. Bang. Sort you out. Sort you out too. Sort you guys out before you can get in. Okay, there's a bit of a rush on the gate right now. I'm just going to take you guys out. And now I need to get over to here. Like ASAP. And now, oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh! Yes! Yes! I'm just going just, to just walk into monsters and it just destroys them. This is hilarious. This is the... Okay. I massively underestimated how powerful just going like all in on your king would be as a build. You don't need troops. There is no need. They are not necessary. This is fine. We've got this. I can just run straight through everybody. Oh. Well, why don't we just have some fun with this? Yeah, shout out to Riven Rhyme, who's been a member for 10 months. 
Uh, and since this game looks like a lot of fun, I love this type of game and I hope that Ted is less stressed out. Today, we just, this evening, we need to help him out with that a little bit. Yes. Oh. He's calmed down a little bit now that he's had a mandatory cuddle. Holy um, flip, mate. What a victory. Now, let's see if we can figure out whether there's more houses now than there were before. Now, there were, yeah, there was only one mutator bonus. That's not my high score. And also gets me. Oh, an extra perk in each game. That's nice. Really good. So that's three perks, which is going to help, obviously, for chasing the hide, more difficult stuff. And. Berserks? I read that as berserks, but okay. You permanently can do upgrade path for your melee. Berserks have high upgrade, have high attack damage, and like to focus on siege engines or other large targets. Very good. I can just get one more. Glass cannon. You deal significantly more damage, but you have way less health. The John upgrade. I love Lol. glass cannon builds so much. I know you do. I feel like nothing more is built there than was there before. Yeah. So basically zero out of ten. Oh, hang on. Way more has been built down here, though. Weird. That's odd. Okay, I have no idea what determines what's being built or not built. But there's definitely way more down here than there was a second ago. Maybe it's just tied to, like, your level? Yeah. Like, maybe it's tied to, like, your feedback overall... feedback to the devs. Yeah. That needs, that we need needs to, we... to be made yeah. cuter. When you... When you, uh, you know what it should be? When you get six out of six, there should be, like, a castle. There should that be a big true. castle. Devs, come on. Let's make this happen. A castle should be we put up. We don't know that they're actually here, by the way. They're proper. They're, they'll get to it sooner or later, I'm sure. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Jack, who uh, gave us two Canadian dollars and Best says, dollars. Uh, what is this dog training game we're having tonight? <laughs> Ted, yes, you're indeed. doing your we're best, honey to, yeah, bar. You're doing yeah. your best. Uh, and the last couple, uh, we've got Department of Redundancy Department, who has been a member for 21 months, and says, Good evening, I just came back from karaoke to find a nice. chill MATN stream. I hope the cooler temperatures from the last few days were pleasant for you. I think Ted enjoyed it more, but I think it's, been, yeah, it's, it's set to warm up a bit before the end well, of the month. Well, I mean, I... Department of Redundancy Department, I don't know what it's like in Switzerland. Yes. But it's actually been quite warm today. It's been all right. Okay. It's, it's been, been okay. It's been, yeah. It's warmer than it was. We had a lot of rain over the last week, but it's okay now. I think now. we've had the weather kind of like a little bit different than, yeah. than in, in Europe, and particularly suspect, in the yes. south of Europe. So, yeah. Um, but let's see. Gus uh, gave us five pounds. And says, hey, John and Kaya, I've been watching since I was around 15 and I'm turning 21 this month. Oh, no. I hope John continues playing Baldur's Gate 3. It's amazing. Love you guys. We're so old. We're really old. Oh, dear. We're really old. What am I being done? Claire's, Claire's cleaning me in some capacity. No, no, I was just... Your, you, you were you were petting your eyebrow up in a kind of I very sometimes fiddle with my eyebrows. Away. That's fine. Sometimes I fidget with my eyebrows while I'm doing streams. That's okay. I'm allowed. No, oh, we're making it weird now. Uh huh. Eyebrow fidgeting. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, that is us being caught up. Uh, yes, you're planning on playing a bit of Baldur's Gate uh, three on your own personal time. And also, right? like, if if nothing, like, even if nothing else. Sorry, I just killed the music by mistake there. Uh, even if like nothing else, it's one of those like. Having a chance to let it rest and have a think about it. Like, you know, some games I find myself thinking about, and that's how I know, okay, you should definitely go back to them. I don't want to rush into these things. Like, uh, I feel like Baldur's Gate could well be one of them. Like, you know, like, Stellaris was a game I found myself thinking about a lot, and now, well, it's my uh, third most played game on Steam of all time. Uh, only Fallout 4 and New Vegas are ahead of it. Uh, though admittedly, that's it, it doesn't accurately represent how much hours I put into each game because a lot of hours in my games are either back on the Xbox or like before Steam existed, like on the old CD copies. Like I know for a fact it is unquestionable that I have put more time into Rome Total War than any other game. Sorry, cursor on screen again. Than any other game. It's just it's it's not record. It's not recorded on Steam. Of course, uh, yeah, uh, Rome Total War predates Steam. It was Empire Total War that came out about the same time as Steam. Uh, if I recall correctly. Uh, Medieval 2 and Rome to the War predated it. That was in the days when we just, you know, had data on CDs. And we actually put games in CD drives and whatnot, even on PC. Um, so, yeah. 
That's uh, that I know for like I can't, I don't I can't give you a number, but I know Rome to the War is my most played game of all time, uh, and I suspect New Vegas is second, Fallout Three third, Fallout Four fourth. But like Steam doesn't uh, Steam doesn't uh, accurately reflect that, unfortunately. Steam Steam tells lies. Steam tells many lies. Though Steam does also say, hang on, let me just let me just double check this here. Let me, just, let me just give you the updated information here for where Elden Ring's already up to, which is Lol. horrifying. Uh, uh, and here. while you do that, there's a message from uh, Kara who yeah. gave us ten dollars, uh, and this is a message from Kara's uh, from Kara's pack. Uh, Kara says, "This is for Ted. Everyone is scared of John's evil giggles. You're in. Uh, you're a very good boy." My pack has got your back. They were barking in solidarity with you. Wasn't it Tabby that was scared of my evil laugh? No, it absolutely was. Ted does not care about your evil yeah, laugh. Yeah, Ted doesn't care. Yeah. Tabby was scared of my evil laugh, so I couldn't do it. I can do it with Ted. It's fine. Elden... Yeah, we checked when we first got Ted yes. if you would be scared of uh, John's and evil laugh. And I can do evil laughs, laughs unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately, he wasn't. Uh, yes, Elden Ring is up to my sixth most played oh. game on Steam of all time. It is closing in on Crusader Kings 2 and will definitely overtake it for the simple reason that now I play Crusader Kings 3 instead. Uh, so yes, Elden Ring is inevitably going to move up to position 5 uh, at some point. But after that point, it's then got to catch up with Civ 6. Now that's tricky because Civ 6 occasionally I do sit down and still play. So that that's a number that's still going up in the world. Uh, and then once that's argued, then there's like 150 hours before you hit Stellaris numbers. So then there's a big gap to catch up. But like, it's possible Elden Ring could end up at like, you know, position uh, 5 or 4 in not just the future. Elden Ring. I I'm doing another build right now. Although I'm really enjoying my current build. Uh, I'll talk you through it at some point because whenever we get to DLC, this that will be the... I think this will be the build I brought in. Like, I've gone through all sorts of builds. But I think I've finally found one I think I'm happy as, like, you know, as, like, the build. Like, in particular, like, the, the big thing I've learned in Elden Ring after my my first playthrough, of course, is, like, when you're playing as, like, a pure... Most... A pure mage, mostly. But, like, you know, just, like, the Moon Veil is just a little bit of uh, magic-infused support. Like, you're not really thinking about poise damage at all. Like, you're, you're not thinking, uh, because, like, you know, you don't have the endurance to be really blocking yourself. Like, it was silly of me to have a shield for so much of that run, because I didn't have the, it didn't have the stamina or the guard boost to actually, like, you know, use it functionally. It was, it was just, it, it was basically like a comfort blanket. It was a comfort blanket in shield form. Uh, and, like, obviously, you know, you're not doing enough poise damage to be reliably breaking enemies. And since then, I've been playing with a whole bunch of larger weapons and, you know, ashes of war that do way more poise damage. And, you, you know, you can lock down enemies a lot more reliably. Thinking about what the best way to use shields actually is, like, dual-wielding weapons for seriously high DPS. And I think I've got a build in mind that, like, can do all of the above and balance them pretty well. It's a really good all-round build that can do a bit of everything. And I'll, I'll introduce you to it one day when we get some, uh, what's it, Shadows of the Earth Tree DLC. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Megascrow, who uh, points out in chat that uh, the um, the volunteer position that they're looking for oh, is yes. in animal rescue or animal care. Oh, amazing. Yes, that's that's, that's an S-tier volunteering position. Absolutely. Because Ted relied on people like that before he found his way to and us. And Tabby. And Tabby too. Ted and Tabby both needed people like that before they found us. So that's very good. Yes, mm. indeed. Excellent. And that's us all. Shout out to Gus who just came in. Good job. <laughs> that was beautiful timing. Gus just came in, uh, just came in with uh, five pounds, saying, uh, "I have to thank, I have to thank you guys some more." John introduced me to Fallout. Uh, started with Fallout Four, then Three, then New Vegas. New Vegas is uh, my top three favorite games, along with Witcher Three, which John still has to play. Lol. You know what's won the rises as well? Which is like, you know, there's some games in my top where it's sort of main because I've done series on them. I don't play them actually that often day to day. But like Warhammer 3 is currently like just outside the top 10 actually. But it's already got 100 and uh, 185 hours. But the thing is, Warhammer 2 is sitting in there with 233 hours. Wow. And that's entirely me just playing Immortal Empires on my own time. So like... At some point, probably we could take that number and add it to Warhammer 3, because I have not touched 2 since 3 came out. 
Uh, so, like, you know, Warhammer 3 is probably going to end up at, like, three, 400 hours in the long run. So that's going to end up in the top five eventually, quite possibly. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting one. Like, Oblivion is actually in the top ten. But that was just because, it, just in case you're curious, the series that I put together uh, was about 200 hours of playtime. Just over 200, but there was a little bit that I'd recorded from tiny bits and pieces and testing and whatnot beforehand. But, like, I've got about 220 hours in Oblivion. Probably about 200, or maybe 210 of that is the series I just did. Like, that, that was 200, uh, 210 hours of playtime that made up that series. <laughs> Which is delightful. Though hilariously, um, Skyrim is actually less than that. I've got 215 hours in Skyrim. But that was also the version that I used to... Actually, is it? Or is there... Or is there other... other mul that, uh, there may be multiple Skyrims. That must be that one because there's nothing else that high. Uh, so interestingly, yes, I, it, put, it took me more hours in Oblivion to do my Oblivion series than it did uh, for my Skyrim series. Even though the Skyrim series was like well over 100 parts and Oblivion right, wasn't even close. Did you not... Uh, it seems to me, like, surely you started playing Skyrim yourself as as a player when it first came out on, on console, Xbox. Yeah, correct. right? So when you went into the series, you didn't need to, like, learn the game. That's true. But I didn't do that much such Oblivion because I wanted to like, go in mostly blind, just mm. understanding the basics, like how the leveling system works, so you don't make really bad decisions in that regard. But, like, sometimes games just end up, like, you know, uh, high up on account of a series. Like, uh, yeah, Dragon Age Origins. That was 120 hours to put that series together. Uh, that's fun. Which is, uh, yeah, so that's that's how that is. 70 hours so far in XCOM 2 is what's made up the series uh, to date. Uh, 65 was Knights of the Old Republic. Not the longest game uh, in many, many ways. Uh, absolutely. Jedi Survivor wrapped at 35 uh, I was right there. Subnautica was a little bit higher at 38. I've actually put 43 hours into Midnight Suns. I finished that game. That was a great game. That was uh, that was wrapped up. Uh, and yeah, hilariously, uh, XCOM 2 uh, already at like 70 hours. XCOM Enemy Unknown was 31 hours and done. That entire series was 31 hours odd. This is like double that and we're not done yet. Yeah, that's which just is a lot more content. Yeah. So that's uh, that's that's how long that is. I'm already up to 118 Crusader Kings 3 as well. So that's going to rise over the years, obviously. There's going to be, you know, more series, more playtime on my own. So that, that will be way, way higher. So there's a couple of games that, like, you know, will probably slip away. Like Oblivion will probably drop its position over time. And, like, Skyrim might drop its position a bit over time. But, like, Crusader Kings 3 and Warhammer 3 will gain. They will gain. They will absolutely gain over time. Hitman, unfortunately, was completely screwed over by the fact that it was divided between Hitman, Hitman 2, and Hitman World of Assassination, as Hitman 3 is now called. The hilarious if you hover over Hitman World of Assassination, it still says Hitman 3. Uh, they, 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 that's delightful. So, yes, that had Hitman, had the Hitman trilogy actually truly been the World of Assassination, or one game, as they kind of pretend it is, it would have been much, much higher. Could have uh, that, that could have been challenging for honours at that point. Uh, we are all caught up. We're all caught up. So in that case, I think we'll probably call it, even though this hasn't been the longest stream for us, I think Ted could do with a bit of breaks and cuddles and love. Because I think he's had a bit of a stressy night. I'm sorry if he's his barking upset your dogs or otherwise broke your ears. Very sorry about that. But I think he's a bit stressed out right now. Bless him. So we're going to go give him some cuddles. And yeah, we might... Uh, we might try that. Oh, someone did mention anti. Yeah, we've literally got him on antihistamines. He's on antihistamines right now. We're just not sure they're enough because we think we put him back on those and we think he's getting a little bit itchy and pink again. So we might need to put him on another course of steroids till uh, summer ends and we hit autumn proper. I'm thinking what we might need to do. So, yeah. That's all of that. Thank you very much for joining this evening. Thank you very much to the Super Chat donators. Thank you very much to community members and everyone just for uh, hanging out with us. Obviously, coming this next week, you've got plenty more XCOM. You've got some rather dramatic episodes of XCOM, actually. Uh, let's, let's just say that. There's, 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 there's drama. You are not ready for there, episode 25. There is drama <laughs> coming up. Well, now people aren't going to give a shit about episode 24, Claire. Uh... But uh, episode 25 is a rather dramatic episode. Let's let's put it that way. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of new stuff coming up as well. And keep in mind, uh, as some of you may be well aware, uh, next week, next Thursday, is my birthday. And it is traditional that we do a special stream on my birthday. So uh, I, I, I have something in mind that may or may not pad out. I'm just arranging a little something right now. Watch this space. 
the, the but you know one way or another there'll be something special for the birthday. We'll have there'll be there'll be a nice there'll be a nice long nice long birthday stream coming next week. It's gets a lot of people getting very scared for Cameron. <laughs> Hashtag fall of Cameron. Uh, so yes, that's that's all coming up in the next week. Obviously, you've got your Fallout, you've got your XCOM, you got some new stuff, you've got a birthday stream coming next week, so hopefully you join us for that. That's going to be something pretty special one way or another. So yes, hopefully we see you there. And uh, yeah, as I say, thank you very, very much for joining us this evening too. We are going to go and cuddle a dog. And uh, yeah. Hopefully, we'll see you next week. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. I've been Benny a true nerd. And this has been the delightfully. That's been Ted That's over been there. That's been Ted over there. Sorry, he got excluded for barking too much. Oh, yes, you do have a tummy. That's right. It's been many a true nerd. And this has been the delightfully chilled out throne fall. Thank you very much. And have fun. Goodbye.